All right, so, uh, welcome guys to another episode of Dungeon Stars plays D and D yeah. for our improv campaign. I am Toucan, and join. I am joined by, and we'll start from the top if that's okay with you guys. Um, since my cover was blown, um, now blew me, and uh, I'm playing uh, Lorcan, uh, uh, high elf bard. Uh, who causes mischief and uh, is looking to uh, live in danger. <laughs> Alright, uh, next person is uh, you, Sam. Go ahead. Um, I'm Sam with 13. My character is Single Nugget, who is a gnome ranger. I do plan on maybe doing something really stupid in this session, but we'll wait and see if I oh end God. up dying or not. Oh no. Onward, you're up, Vega. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your man, Dr. Vega Punk. I'm here today being the user and manipulator of the vault, observing High Elf Wizard of the Eastern Tower. <laughs> We see what Jungle Man here is going to do, because as of right now, he's pretty much separated from the group with only the monkey, the familiar in monkey form currently. We put that out there in monkey form currently before it changes, because it will, and I will repeat it only twice when I say it's about to change, just to avoid any confusion from the rest of the players. Twice. Other than that, enjoy the, that, enjoy the stream. Next person. Hey, everyone. My name is... Uh... My name is Mr. Bitches. My friends call me Bitches. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Calm down, Robert Freeman. <laughs> I, and I'm playing, uh, I'm playing <laughs> Jang John, a half orc, a half orc barbarian. Um, I'm, uh, I'm Goat Agent. Um, always operating. You know what? I don't need this. No, so but yeah. No, no sniper of Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm Goat Agent's uh, Grand Sniper of Pokemon. Um, I might I might like do a video about that. You know, maybe a documentary on how Bloomy is pissed by just one Vaporeon. Um, but yeah, you should check that out on my channel if I ever decide to do it. Uh, but yeah, I'm playing Slim Slim Tissue. That is, uh, daughter of. The great father, uh, Slim Sheedy. She's an elf ranger. Yeah. The father of what? So, so is Slim actually her last name, and Tissue is her first name? Um. Apparently. No. <laughs> well, well, it is now. I mean, you said her dad's it's, name it's was canon. Slim. It's canon now. Sheedy. You can't take it back. I don't know. I don't know what the he next person. I don't know what the hell. So they're apparently her name is Tissue. Okay. I'm no, 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 no. Both of their both of their first names are um, Slim. Slim. But uh, so we have two out. But the daughter's last name used to be Sheedy Junior, but uh, she changed it to Tissue. Nice. Okay. Save. Next, 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 next person, please. Instead of getting some old rap names, Slim Shady up in this mug. Next person, please. I'm Small Patat, and my character is Baloney Crisis. He is a human bard. And. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, okay. Hello. My name is Falu, and I will be playing as Mimi Dank, currently covered in flowers and a vine dress. Hashtag ooh la la ooh la la ooh la 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 ooh la la ooh la la ooh la la hashtag ooh la la me me don't ooh la la. Hashtag pain. Hashtag hashtag perkele. All right. All right. No. As we left off last week, you guys were moving north, uh, toward the first X marked on the map. Uh, Gavelt, you were following suit in the woods, and uh, if I remember right, Gavelt has like covered himself in mud <laughs> and different like things he's around him. Uh, he's just staying in mud. He's, 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 staying in mud. Right. He, he's just staying in mud and has his robe like tied around his waist. 
Other than that, it'd be one of those things where he's just either walking or like partially running, not running too much. But the monkey's like the monkey's a distance away from him, but it's close to where the main group is while he's just by himself. So the monkey's up in some high trees just following the group while Cabela's just like following about maybe 60 something feet away from the monkey. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and upload um, one map we might use later into the stream maps just so you guys have it there and I don't forget to do it later when I'm talking about it if we get that far. Uh, hmm. And I'm going to bring the map to the uh, to the front of the stream for the stream. Another river. Uh, the viewers. All right. And it's it's all on you guys. Uh, what do you want to do? Baldwin's kind of just packing his stuff. <laughs> oh, they haven't moved out yet? Okay, so it's in the morning. Um, Here's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm going to make a belt roll a nature check, see if you can find some wet, wet, wet clay soil of some kind. Unless him being covered in mud covers it. But I'm going to roll a nature check to start off. Okay, okay. Uh, that's, what, that's, that's, that, that's what he's doing. In the meantime, everybody else can role play and make the characters talk. It's up to them. Uh, I'll tap myself on the shoulder and go invisible. Alright. Blue is gone invisible. <laughs> At the beginning just, of the morning. <laughs> he yep. gives himself a pat on the back. I'm not taking any chances. I'm just, I'm... Okay, that's cool. You want to do that? That's cool. Um, anybody else want to do anything? Um, because if you guys don't, Baldwin's ready to start moving. He is kind of wondering what happened to Gavelt, though. I mean, you should make a mask. <laughs> anyway. We're not going to be on I mean, the monkey, the monkey's just in a tree, just looking. Okay, monkey. Well, at least at like, least Mimi is ready to start moving moving along. Okay. Nineteen on that na nineteen on that na nature check. See if you found some like wet wet clay soil. Yeah, yeah, you find it. What what are you trying okay. to do with it? Cover yourself. You just see Gavelt just not cover. So you see Gavel just like look at it, but then just then just remembered. <laughs> then just remembered like you know a flashback in his mind of like you know him saying everybody else don't touch anything. Or, you know, when, uh, and another thing is when Wilker was talking about the mother goddess and, like, you know, disrupting any part of nature. And then he remembers the dragon, like, seeing his row of eyes. You see him just getting a quick prayer stance? I know I don't do this enough, but I ask, I gotta ask that we have divine protection along the way here for any other gods that may be involved. Anyway, <laughs> you know, he just, prays first before picking up like a ball of this mud a ball of this clay soil and he's just while he's just walking he while, while he's just walking he walks a little bit you know see if the group's gonna move he's just molding it into something okay all right uh i guess i'm gonna break out my handy dandy uh initiative uh thing after uh mm -hmm. Or when we're outside of battle. So, uh, Mimi Dank, it's on you if mm -hmm. if there's anything. I know you said you were just uh, ready to go. But, uh, yep. Okay. All right, Mimi Dank, uh, he's ready to roll out. Next on the list is Lorcrin. Well, I guess you, you've done when invisible. Uh, uh, any other thing yeah. or anything uh, else you want to do? Can I go wherever we're... Uh, I have to go ahead. Can I just go scout ahead a little bit? Yeah, you can. You can. Okay. I'll choose to do that. All right. Uh, how far ahead do you want to go? Uh, Running or like moving, moving speed in rounds is 30. So if something happened, it would, if you're 30, uh, is it feet? Yeah, 30 feet ahead of them. It would take mm. them a round to get to you. I'll stay about, about twenty feet. feet. That's fine. I'll stay about twenty feet in front of him. Okay, twenty feet in front of him. All right, we are up to single nugget. You are the queen. Anything you want to do? Yeah, I'm. I'm just. Go I'm just going along. 
All right, single nuggets just chilling. He's ready to go. Uh, baloney. She said typing. <laughs> oh, okay. Baloney connection problems. Connection problems. Okay, I'm just going to say Baloney is, uh, uh, like, going along with it then. All right. Uh, next we have uh, Gavelt. And uh, uh, he's you... just... Uh... I was gonna yeah, say he, you he, already he did the like hidden. prayer thing and covered yourself. Yeah, he Yeah, he's just staying hidden. He's still molding that. But you see like him you see him like open his hands and you see like this little little dirt looking hand that he just made. He just keeps refining it. He, he keeps looking down while refining it and then looking up. And you see him just you see his eye look at his book. You see the book just flip a page on its own. And you see him just waiting. The monkey scratched his head. <laughs> looking okay. down at uh whoever's below him. So probably just looking down at loyal not looking down at uh Hideki and then just looking at everybody else. Right, then it goes to Slim. Or Tissue. Uh, <laughs> what no no one knows this. Like in the story, I'm still slim. <laughs> I I choose to uh, plead the fifth. Okay, so what? So, so Slim is pleading the fifth uh, and being put back in the cage. Uh, the Cobolts are by the Cobolts. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. I guess. <laughs> do you have anything you want to do? Slim? No, nothing. I'm. I'm just ready. All to right, go. ready to roll. Um, and then Jang. I guess I'm going to stick close to Baldwin, just acting generally flirty. All right, well, I guess roll me a charisma check if you want to flirt with him. <laughs> and then tell me what or tell me what you want to say, then roll the charisma check. I mean, I'm not really flirting, like, specifically. I'm just kind of being generally, like... She's, I'm just, just, up, she's just rubbing shoulders up against him. Staying against close, him. giving him a wink or two. Oh, okay, Ooh. okay. Well, all right, I'll say, I'll say wink, so charisma check on the wink. Let's see how... Uh, do Baldwin. I blink? Baldwin reacts to this. <laughs> that was a heavy blink. This is being... I, for... I should have pulled up parties for Sh this. Strudel Kitty is being shamed <laughs> in the other chat. But Strudel Kitty isn't here, so I have to find someone else to flirt with. Uh, don't tell him to starve, Sam. Um, I guess if you, if you want to wink at him, uh, roll that charisma, and we'll see. I'm I'm still pulling up my modifiers. Oh, okay, my bad. Okay. Hashtag. Doodle cheer, by the way. He's typing in the chat. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, my uh, number bar is broken. Crap, I'm going to have to just copy-paste because I can't type a 1. And, uh, there, there is... This is taking a dark turn in the stream oh my God. chat room. <laughs> Slow. 7. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you, uh, you guys see Jang kind of blink at Baldwin with both eyes. <laughs> but, like, really slow. <laughs> just slow in both eyes. And, uh, uh, are, are you okay, uh, Jing? She pouts. <laughs> oh. If, uh, if you guys are already, I'd suggest that we start moving forward. Would that be okay? <laughs> Monkey just makes noise. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll for Baldwin to see if he knows what that is. Okay, yeah, he knows it's your monkey. <laughs> I guess Gavelt is somewhere then. I, okay, that's fine. Um, as long as he knows where we're at, I guess. Um, 
and then Baldwin uh, starts moving forward. Uh, you guys going with him? Yes. All right. I'll I'll just say. Uh, what about you, Gavel? What are you doing? Are you... As soon as they move, the monkey moves first, then Gavel goes. Like shortly after, it starts moving. Okay. Are you planning on meeting up with the party or? Yeah, he's just trailing. He's just trailing behind. Them. Okay. And just when he just when he get it's just depending on what the map looks like up ahead. It just get when they get to a certain point. Okay. Uh, as you guys are moving, uh, Lorcan, you're up front about 20 feet uh, in front of the party, and the jungle is getting pretty dense uh, where you're at. Okay. Uh, Are you going to try to continue? <laughs> if you're going to try to continue, I need you to roll me an athletics check because you're going to uh, have to cut through some vines. No, no, I was going to ask uh, if I could roll a nature check in, uh, just make sure we're going the right way, make sure uh, like the plants and shit are safe for us to even touch. You do, you're not with them with the map, but you can roll a survival check to see <laughs> if you're moving the right direction. Okay. And let's see what you get. Oh, uh yeah, you're you're going the right way. Um you're you're not even like worried or you know, your character's not even worried about it. He knows he's uh going the right way from looking at the map. Alright. Uh, and the, like, the surroundings, they all look safe. That's yeah. sort of what I was meant. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, can I, looks good. before advancing, can I move on? Or, <laughs> can I wait for the party to move on? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can wait. Alright, I'll, I'll sit in place right now. I'll, like, crisscross applesauce on the ground waiting for him. Alright, alright. Uh, you guys, uh, walk up and, uh, you guys see, well, I guess Jang, since you're by Baldwin and he's up front, you'll see Lorcan just... Uh, sitting down cross-legged on the floor. I'm invisible. But, oh, yeah. you see a butt print on the floor. Nice. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay. Uh. <laughs> okay. The, mo the, mo the monkey stays. The monkey uh, stays. In stays in the tree line, close to the close to the group. All right. Um, yeah, you see the main group just move. You see the main group just moving. I'm gonna roll for. Baldwin. Okay. Yeah, uh he notices uh the like ruffling around and he's assuming that you're there, so he kinda moves to the side and doesn't like step on you or anything. Okay. <laughs> oh, you were gonna have him trip on me. <laughs> well yeah, if he ro if he didn't roll uh high enough <laughs> on perception. Jesus. Uncle Veltin, Uncle Veltin, how thick is the canopy? Can you like see the sky or anything like that? Uh it's pretty thick where you guys are right now. Like you see sunlight coming through a little bit, but it's not, it's not a lot. It kind of feels like it's uh, I I want to say like sunset kind of like n it's not sunset, but that's what there's, the there's, lighting there's, 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 kind of looks. There's like. just rays coming yeah. through. There's just rays coming through like all the all the leaves. And yeah, stuff it's not like too that. illuminated where you guys are at because of the trees. <laughs> And it's really hard to move forward, and you guys are going to have to start cutting through uh, some forest. Uh, Baldwin, Baldwin gives you guys the okay. Like, he says it's all right to do this. I'm in front with him, right? Yeah, he, okay, he might need some help. He wrote a 13 <laughs> on his on his uh, athletics, which isn't the best. It's not bad, but it isn't the best. Uh, so you see him struggling with his machete. I rolled a thirteen. Who only needs well. to roll. All right, together you guys are uh, not doing it too well. Uh, Lorcan, if you want to what? help, I was okay. Gonna say, what do we roll? I don't want to help. Uh, I stay where I am. Yeah, if you wanted to help, you would have had to drop your invisibility. Yeah, no, no, no. I don't want to help. Definitely not. A seventeen. Seventeen. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> I got a natural. Funny. So you guys, uh, what can you a, read? A You're getting the weed. <laughs> you what guys... a surprise! That's why I said unnat. Oh yeah, modified. That's better ways, yeah. and it's not. You guys, uh, see 
uh, Mimi Dank and uh, Single Nugget walk forward and the plants just move to the side. <laughs> yeah, they, they're... The, the uh, plants are just moving to the side and uh, Baldwin's like, oh, okay. That's fine. He puts Excellent. away his little uh, <laughs> machete. Jane comforts Baldwin. <laughs> You know, looking back on it, maybe I should have drank some of that. <laughs> it seems to have more perks than it does. The monkey, fa the, monkey <laughs> the monkey face palms in the tree this year. <laughs> <laughs> Baldwin's a little jealous right now. <laughs> you, and, see, uh, you see Gabel. You, you see Gabel while he's walking, turning into the silver mist. At least it's useful. <laughs> just, just misty steps. So, just misty steps. So you... Okay, but are you with the party now or no? He's close. He's a little closer to them. Oh, yeah, the monkey's still out of him. So if he's 60 feet, he's about 30 feet behind them now. Okay, okay. Um, And as you guys uh, keep moving, who is behind Single Nugget and Mimi? Or who wants to be? Like, what are people want to talk tonight? Would you people want to talk tonight? Would that be then Jang and Baldwin? Yeah, yeah. If no I one guess, else, I guess if, yeah. if no one changed order, it would be Jang and Baldwin. And uh, wow, we should we just roll for it? Uh. Oh well, it's it's fine. Like you, you guys don't have to roll for order. Like Baldwin would definitely be behind them. Technically, good belt still staying a little behind, a little a little behind the group for a reason. Yeah. But okay. Um, and as as you guys are walking, uh, Baldwin steps uh, forward behind you guys, and um, he's gonna have to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh nope. Okay. Uh, you guys see a big plant just enclose on him and sink back into the ground. Oh, no. You just see his little With arm waving. Out? Yeah, his arm is waving like in the ground. Can I, can can I pull him out? Uh, you can try. Roll athletics for me. Jeng would definitely also be trying. Okay, okay. You, you guys, uh, I will give, if you're helping, I will give uh, follow <laughs> advantage on his roll. I think Jen needs advantage more. On the first. No, well, it's just him. It's just him. I'm going to say you're, like, grabbing on to, on to uh, Mimi. Why would um, Jen, who is the closest, that's, that's not be the one? Is. It's just because he said but, but, he wanted it, to pull him because, out first. I mean, why question it? You He's a plant. Anyway. And, yeah, yeah, okay, so he's about halfway out now. <gasps> Help, I am being crushed. I need some help, please. Uh, if you guys want to pull them some more, uh, I'm going to need another roll. Can I tackle them off of Baldwin? Again? Wait, you want to tackle them off of Baldwin? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? No, never mind. I'll, I'll, never mind, I'm sorry. It's up to you, too. I did terrible. All right, Jang's taking uh, this one. Uh, does that cut it? Yeah, Jang... Uh, Jang, and then you see Single Nugget behind Jang on his, uh, or on her calf. Uh, pulling, he's not really doing much, but uh, Jang pulls Baldwin the rest of the way, the rest of the way out. Oh, oh, thank you. I did not know that these plants were around here, this area. To be honest, I've never been this far into the jungle, though. Just to the temples. Oh. And he he okay. looks to you, uh, uh, Mimi and Jenga. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Problem, sweet cheeks. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> he like he like kind of looks at Jang like sweet cheek. Did she? Did she just? Did uh. She just call me sweet. <laughs> <laughs> but from now on, Jang is gonna have her uh, great axe out. Okay, so yeah, uh, that's cool. That's cool. Jang's equipping herself. Okay. 
you know, Gabel just, you know, watching what just happened over there, you know, since he can see the monkey's eyes, you know, he's walking close, he's getting closer to the group, but you see him in his mind, what kind of forest is, um, uh, or what kind of plants are these? Like, can I have him, uh, I don't know what to make a perception or a nature check just to see, like, what he can tell by looking at the forest around him. I'm gonna say, like, since you've, uh, lived, or you did live a long time, uh, you've seen plants like this, mm. and, uh, they are carnivorous plants. They uh, survive by crushing uh, humanoid-sized creatures that walk into their path and pretty much juice them uh, with pressure. Okay. Anyway, he, he doesn't. <clears throat> okay, he doesn't even say that line. You just see him just looking left and right, being precariously cautious. Same time though, see so about like clench his fist. The monkey just just glow and it just turn into a ball of energy. You see it just transform into a hawk and just fly up in the air. Okay. I, uh, actually, as you're, uh, flying, roll a dexterity saving throw for the, oh, we'll just throw a straight 20 for the familiar. Twenty. By the way, are the carnivorous plants visible to the uh, naked eye? Like came out of the ground. Them? It bald one just okay. stepped and it came out of the ground. So it's like cool. Mine. If I would have tried to cut down the plant, would I have cut Baldwin? You would have rolled to hit eleven. Uh, let me roll for this yeah. thing. Okay, uh, your your uh, our Keith King misses or dodges it, but uh, one of the trees just latched out a branch at it to grab it. Yeah, you see, it just. <laughs> Yeah, you see that thing is making that like hawk, like hawk sound. You give out, huh? You know, you see it transforming again, <laughs> and this time you see it just got smaller all of a sudden. It just turned into a snake. <laughs> it's on the ground. Okay, so it, is it on the ground as a snake? Yeah, on the it's on the ground as a snake. Okay. You know, see, you give out just tilt his head, just like noticing this. See him just look at the group. You know, as they keep walking forward. See him just shaking his head. This getting through here is not going to be easy at all. <laughs> he says that. <laughs> He's snake just following the group now. Yeah, just the, by. As you as you guys are walking, I want everyone to roll me a nature check. This is gonna judge how well you're getting through the jungle. Uh until your next like little checkpoint. Jang roll the nine. I got eighteen. Fifteen. Fuck you, game. I can tell you what your mod a six, is. A sixteen. We got a five. Yeah, nature uh baloney. Oh wait, no, yeah, I don't have your character sheet anymore. Well the stats haven't changed, so her, uh, and that's 20. Not 20. Baloney actually goes to the front, but right behind uh, Single and Mimi, and actually guides you guys through this. Baloney, like, uh, Gavel, you're having flashbacks of Baloney just eating bananas during fights. Uh, Baloney has <laughs> never been so helpful <laughs> to, in your in your perspective. Uh, Bob went is <laughs> really blown away by <laughs> Oh, you hear girls to say. Mm. <laughs> Did that Jack Sparrow mm. thing? Just keep it going. Has, mm. um, has he always been this? He's like whispering to you, Jang. Has he always been this good out in nature? He seems to not like what? being uh, in the sun too much. There's lots of shade. Mm, I guess mm -hmm. this would be his good environment then. And uh, yeah, like below, just so everybody knows, Baloney's having connection issues, so I'm kind of having trying to work with that. <clears throat> um, but yeah, Baloney uh, leads you guys, and you guys come to a break in the in the dense forest, and you just see huge trees uh, overcasting everything and I want you guys to go to that map I'm going to bring it up on 
the stream. The greener trees, those are the ones that are really standing up above the other ones. And you guys see this river flowing right by them. And the one on the right, uh, at the top right, that one stretches into the sky. Like, you guys seen the tree on Hunter Hunter that Gon climbs at the end? That's oh, the size we're talking. Damn. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Let's climb it. Uh... And Gavel, Gavel just appears right next to whoever is like in the back of the party, just just out of nowhere. This, uh, I guess, we see right now in the back. Okay, so Slim so, just gets surprised. So, <laughs> okay, so anyway, you see Gavel just nod his head like that that gangster kind of thing, just like upward, and just look at the tree. It's, uh, Slim, uh, Gavelt just popped into existence right on your left side. Yes, Slim. <laughs> does, does Slim react at all, or just like, okay, these are fine. It's fine, this is normal. <laughs> Slim, right now. Slim is used to Gavelt popping in and out of the places, I guess. Uh-huh, see the snake just crawling over the sliver by her leg. <laughs> and the sliver of Gavelt's leg, and eventually get on his arm. Yeah, Keith King is now on uh, your arm. Uh, all right, Baldwin kind of um, like stops at the edge of the river. Like you guys are on the opposite side of it, over on the left. I think we are at our first destination, and he points out to the big old tree. See about walking to him, and just with his finger up, and then just you know, it's like shaking his finger slightly. Like, he's not shaking his finger, but it's like going back and forth. He just points over to that tree. You don't expect us to go up that thing, right? I don't expect you to, but I will have to. Um, if you guys still want payment, I suppose you should uh, come as well, because this is part of the job. You want this us to climb that tree? Not how I planned on dying. <laughs> He like Are there looks stairs? scared. Like he, you you know the like reaction faces on Attack of Attack on Titan. Like he's giving you one of those like creeped out faces by mentioning like dying. Uh, <laughs> single. I'm not too fond of this either. I assure you, but it must be done. What exactly is up this tree, though? To me, one of the artifacts. Lorcan starts oh, climbing the tree. How do we get up? Okay, Lorcan uh, starts climbing the tree. Uh, <laughs> or well, Lorcan like walks to the edge of the river, and as you put your foot in, I'm gonna need you to roll a dexterity saving throw. Uh, what? Oh, Jang is no. also deciding to climb the tree. Across the river, I didn't know we were. Oh no. Okay. Hold on. Dexterity saving. Oh, okay. That's fine. Wait, what'd you get? While, 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 while those guys are going oh, for it, how do we get up? Do we have to climb? Oh, oh. Okay, um, as uh, Lorcan, as you uh, put your foot in the water on your uh, leg that's uh, injured, or, or that you suffered an injury, you just see yeah. this crocodile come up and slap down on uh on it and you're gonna what? take half damage since you uh passed that save all right you are taking three uh piercing damage as that crocodile grabs your leg it doesn't even know what's there it just grabs onto it um feeling oh. the movement in the water and lorcrim becomes visible you guys see a crocodile <laughs> On his leg right now. Fuck it. And I need you guys to roll initiative for me. Okay. <laughs> I didn't um. want to cross your leg. <laughs> I did. I know. I mentioned that you guys were on the left side. Uh, I'm too high. I'm too something. Too something. All right, Jang, fifteen. Uh, fifteen also on Mimi. Polly, do you want to go first? Well, I mean, you did that without a modifier, so... Oh, he does. Oh, I guess you'd go first. Dex, uh... Jane doesn't have a modifier for initial... Not Dex, not Dex. 
I have oh, the alli- and- Did the alligator bite my already messed up leg? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Thanks, TK. I'm sorry. Don't be apologizing. Shoot. <laughs> uh, Keith King is going to go after you, uh, Gavel. For now on, okay. just to keep so, it easy. So did Blue, did Blue me roll for an initiative already? Uh, no. no. Oh, do I need to? Yes, please. Yes. Oh, and then God. I have to roll for my oh. good boys. Oh, and that's then... 20. <laughs> and also, uh, you go. Where the f- Wait, what'd you say? Roll for initiative, goat. So Baldwin is going first? Uh, no, that was for the croc. Oh. oh. So the croc is out that's already chomped at someone's leg. Yeah, he's, he's going to jump at someone else. A, yeah, he's going to get another one. Then we got a 14, and we're Rip waiting on me. Slim. <laughs> oh, no. Slim got he's seven. Good. Okay. I'm so good. Um. Accidentally hit my little bowl. Mm. Okay. Um, which one of which one of you is going first? Um, Sam or Bloomy? Uh, sorry, I'm uh doing the initiative thing. Oh yeah, yeah, you guys uh go. Uh, that who, was a lot. Who's Sam Bloomy? Who's going first out, Mimi and Jang? Jang. Uh, Jang. Okay, okay. I'd say Bloomy would go before me because he probably wants to get revenge on the thing that's gnawing on his leg. Uh, Fair enough. Uh, okay. Question mark. That's fine. Mm. So I guess Jang would. Uh, she'd be standing right at the river front, and she'd be uh, swinging her her already equipped great axe. Uh, down at the alligator's head. Uh, give me, give me one second, cause there's a lot of things I gotta kill that motherfucker. Go for fourteen. Okay, we don't even go after that. Um, let me see here. After baloney. Baldwin. And then after that would be Slim. Gavelt. Holy and crap, it is Keith. freaking high. Okay, that's a lot of initiatives. Uh, oops. All right. Um, Could you pin that in rolls? Uh, oh God. Uh, well, I think yeah. I think. Uh, I have a follow. Question. Got you guys on there. Yes, go go ahead, wow. Slim. How many arrows did you say is a full quiver? Oh God. Forty. Forty. Okay. Yeah. Forty. Okay. I was like, mm-hmm. it's either forty or thirty, but I'm not sure what I decided on. Forty. <laughs> And they have right. a lot of arrows. Uh, that same uh, crocodile that grabbed you, uh, Lorcan, is going to attempt to pull you under. And I need you to make an athletics or uh, or make a strength saving throw for me. Oh, no, man. Versus them. What did I do? What did I do? I should have freaking made Baldwin die. I know it. You hit it, bro. <laughs> Should have used his body as bait. Oh no! All right, yeah. Uh, you guys see Lorcan as this thing starts rolling. <laughs> Lorcan's thrown into the water and blood's uh, getting into the water. And uh, as that happens, you see more crocodiles pop out, and a second one now is going to go for uh, some Lorcan meat. Oh no! Uh, does a thirteen hit you, Lorcan? Does a no. thirteen hit me? No, it does okay, not. Right, I'm 14. Yeah, one, one snaps right by your ear, and you just look over in this frenzy that's going Jesus. on. 
And uh, yeah. you barely missed. Jang, it's now your turn. Someone help me. Okay, this is very bad. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to take the handle of my great axe. I'm going to try to dip it into the water to try to uh, fish out Lork. Uh, and I hope you can grab on. I need you to make a strength saving throw for me. Ooh. Modified 20. Alright. Oh, fuck. Dead even. I'm going to let you win that. A crocodile snaps the handle and tries to pull the axe in as a reaction. No. But uh, that the handle's still there. There's just a crocodile on it, uh, Lorcan. You can you can attempt to do this on I guess on your turn. Okay. Um, so I can attack. Does yeah. that? Uh, I mean, I'm that trying makes... to think of yeah. how how you uh, if you can come up with a creative way to attack, I will let you. Or you could like swap swat at the one Punch like it grabbing the axe. Yeah. Can Lorcan not just grab on and I can try to pull him out? No, it would be his turn. He'd have to wait for his turn. Okay, so I, I'm fi I'm fine like this for now. Okay, okay. I I was gonna say like I'll let you punch at one if you want to punch and make an un or er, an unarmed uh, attack. Sure. Should I roll a hit? Yeah, roll a hit. You just see Jang trying to hold one axe away, and then she comes down and tries to swing at the crocodile and misses. And she's just like, Jang's holding that axe and then punching in the water, <laughs> trying to hit something. <laughs> Ten to hit. No, it, it, you miss. And uh, I guess we're going to go over to Mimi Dank. Okay. Um, Mimi looks at Baldwin and asks... Is it okay if we whack this gator silly? I'm not for sure, but I would say we want to help your friend. You just hear Gavel, do something! <laughs> oh, Gavel, okay, you're so here! Exactly. <laughs> for In now. that case, <clears throat> for now Mimi, Mimi braces his shield and grips his paddle with all his might, goes into rage, and attacks recklessly the gator that bought uh, Lorcrin. Okay. Uh, <laughs> roll, the, roll the attack. Does, does he get an advantage because it's in water? No, he's he's recklessly attacking, so he's got advantage. So it's, uh, it's my strength plus... Oh, I should have activated Rage. Oh, yeah, it's that. I believe in you. <laughs> Lord Green, underwater now. Uh, uh, modified 20. Alright, modified 20. Yeah, you hit. Roll that damage. You can do it. Oh. <laughs> he's all clenching his hand. Like, uh, uh, a 10. Energy. 10 damage? Oh, nice hit. <laughs> Alright, uh, you guys just see Mimi Dank run toward the edge by Jang, and he just swaps down the paddle and hits this thing on the head. Um, I'm gonna roll a athletics for the crocodile to see if it lets go or not of uh, Lord <laughs> Why do you get a plus five in damage? Uh, proficiency, right? Oh no! Yeah, um, it's a proficiency, and damage. it's rage. Oh, rage! Yeah, rage. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's strength and then rage. Yeah, plus two. Uh, Lorcrin, you just feel your leg get loosened as this crocodile raises up its mouth, being hit uh, by Mimi Dank for ten uh, points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, um, and, uh, do I react now? Or? Uh, you're still in the water right now, and then uh, you got a good old croc boy coming up on you. All right, can I grab onto? Uh, no, uh, it's, it's not your turn yet. Oh. Uh, okay, a seven is not going to hit you. You see another crocodile snap at your leg as it's uh being loosened from Jeez. the other one. 
and God help me. Does a fourteen hit you? Uh, I, does it? If it matches, do I win or does the uh, it wins? Throw wins? It, uh, okay, throw wins. You win yeah. a match. Um, or attacker yeah. wins a match. You're taking four points of piercing damage as you're uh, okay. caught in on the rib cage uh, by a tail. Let's hope that his HP is being watched and will lead out of time. Uh, it's at 16 right now. And uh, it is All now right. your turn, Lorcran. Uh, okay, can I grab onto that handle? Uh, yes, and, yes you can. And try to like launch myself out of the water? Uh, that If you want to get out of the water, I'm going to say roll athletics with advantage since Jang is right there on the handle. Okay. Well, fuck. Athletics, you said? Yeah, athletics, please. Mm. Okay. Mm. Please. Clone. Please. <sighs> oh, fuck. You got one more chance, don't you? Oh, no, 12. Okay, let me roll for this. Oh, okay, yep, you're, you're going to make it. You're getting out of the water. Oh. You see, oh. uh, Lorcran, his bandages are ripped off, and you guys are seeing a nasty uh, leg right now with uh, croc bites and then the injury he's already suffered. As, uh, uh, he He's uh, flung out of the water with uh, Jang's help. Using the adrenaline from all that commotion, can I run as far away from yeah. the water yeah, as I can, can for right can now? Move. Yep. I move to where the party is. All right. Uh, well, they're right there. I'm gonna say you move back. The farthest people yeah. away would be Gavelt and Slim. That's fine. I'll go yeah. to them. And it is now uh, Single Nuggets' turn. Not. Well, since I don't want to go too close, I guess I'm going to ready the bow, and I'm gonna think about how tasty crocodile might be. Oh, okay. Roll to hit. Are you aiming at the one that is on Jang's axe or uh, one of them in the water? You can see which one w uh, grabbed Lorcran because it, it currently just got hit with a paddle. Uh, whatever one would be easier to hit. Okay, I'm going to say the one that still is the easiest to hit that's on Jang's uh, axe handle right now. I'll go for that one then. Yeah, it's kind of like halfway out of the water since Lorcran got out. Cool. Thirteen that hits. Fighting. Uh roll the right. damage. Yeah, single nugget uh readies an arrow and it hits on the side of the croc. Four. Four points of damage. Yeah, you uh Jane, since you're right there on it, you see that the crocodile's hides are a little hard to pierce through. Let me uh, calculate that damage on him. And it is now Baloney Crisis's turn. If your connection is... Good. Just curious, has any of the party taken damage? Uh, yes, Lorcran. A lot. How seven much? points so far. Uh, seven points. Does piercing damage mean something different? Like, do uh, I get like just if you loss have, like, of damage over time? No, no, it's it. Uh, you're good. It's just like some people have like immunity Resist or it. resistance. Uh, or... Insult it to death. Uh, I guess Baloney's uh, like... connection is still it's a still really iffy. bad. Yeah. She needs to just use her cell phone and go on mobile. I mean, go on data. But uh, she could do that. Um, other than that, uh, only thing possible for you at this point is bleed damage. Oh, uh, uh Oh, well, he's, he's fine. He's not, he's not taking, he's not taking any. Okay. Um, she uh, says, our uh, Baloney's gonna, uh, hold his action this time. I'm gonna say, since his, our connection was missing up, or since her connection was missing up, 
um, if a crocodile comes out of water, I'll let Baloney hit it with her uh, or with his rapier, if that's cool with everybody. All right, that's fine. All right, and then next is uh, Croc Boy and Jane. And Mimi, you guys are the closest, and he's gonna go for Jane. Okay, yeah, four does not hit Jane. <laughs> you <laughs> now have two crocodiles on your axe handle, uh, Jane. Uh, there's two visible out of the water, uh, Slim. They're like halfway out of the water. Jane's axe is still like kind of in the water, being held down by them. And it's now Baldwin's turn. Mr. Mr. Lorcan. Yes, Baldwin. Uh, he hands you a uh, potion, uh, Lorcan, that you can use on your turn if you uh, wish to as a bonus action. Get this shit away from me. I don't want to look like fucking Mimi Dank. I don't need... It's a healing need potion. It's a healing potion. It's not, the, it's not the sacred water. Take it. Uh, can I just make sure that's what it is real quick? It, it's a potion. It, it's a healing potion. Uh, yeah, there's no more of okay, the God right. just left. All right, all right, that's fine. I'll drink it. Oh, that's like, I was just looking at Th Thankfully, the kobolds helped supply me. Which, but sadly, I'm not too good at combat, so that's as much as I can do. Thank you, boy. Let me, uh, let me analyze those later. Um, And then after him, you guys see another croc emerge, and he is coming for Jang as well. Another four. Okay, so... <laughs> Jang's axe has three crocodile heads on <laughs> the bottom, biting down on it. Jang's just holding on by the blade now. <laughs> oh my god. And it is now <sighs> Slim's turn. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh my god. I guess getting this should annoyed. be Gator closest to me. All right, that'll be the uh, one single nugget hit. Uh, Road to hit. So how many are emer emerged at uh, the moment? Three right now. Three. Nine. Okay. You just see the arrow. Wow. The arrow kind of uh, gets bounced off of its skin. Well, that's a that's on. a nat one. That's a that's a nat one. Oh, He's that's a nat hit one. Jang, oh. isn't he? Oh, God. let me roast her, Verity. Sorry, I did not see that was in that one. So, so oh, who does it hit? Who, who does it hit? Okay, that's bad. Um, oh, no. Oh, I'm gonna roll oh, real quick me. for... Uh, I don't deserve this. Alright, uh, Mimi Dank. Oh, no, come on. No, not again. You just got an arrow <laughs> in the ass. He, he hit me with the pedal. <laughs> no. And I want you to roll Together. damage, uh, oh, no. Slim, as an arrow <laughs> pierces Mimi Dank's butt cheeks through the vine. <laughs> the good thing is you're raging, so it's going to do less damage. Okay, seven. So you take three points of damage as a arrow hits you in your right butt cheek. Uh, but... Jang, all you see is Mimi Dank's eyes widen <laughs> as he's hitting this crocodile with a paddle. They're just so hittable. <laughs> and <sighs> Mimi Dank, do you have anything to say or do you want to say anything? Mimi just looks back, has like a, 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 a mean face and goes... Not again. My bad. Wait, so did Slim do the paddle as well? No, no, he, he hit him in the butt with an arrow. No, with the, uh, the last time he got hit in the butt cheeks, what was Slim the cause of that? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> through the paddle. That's fine. And we're moving I... on to Gavelt's turn. Uh, you've seen Mimi Dank or Slim shoot Mimi Dank in the ass. Star Trek meme. The F was that reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to say what he said. What is that? 
<laughs> anyway, um, okay. Anyway, he just like pinches the skin between his pinches the skin between his eyes, just such a repose or so. He just asks quickly, "Does anybody have a pepper I can use?" Um. Okay, Baldwin just like shakes his oh, head. No. <laughs> Damn it! Do you think Bell just like would have put his heart, put his hand up to that purple energy from a long time ago? He goes, "You chill, touch one of the crocodiles." All right, that's almost, on Jinx's axe. Yeah, I want to say the closest one on Jinx's uh, axe, and unless you want to go for another one, but it'd be disadvantage on any of them after that. Nah, he's going for the one. All right, so he's going for one that's on uh, Jinx's axe. All right, road, road a hit. It'd be pretty hard to miss that, but okay. Um. What do I roll to hit for spells again? My spell modifier? Yeah, uh, your spell? spell attack modifier. Um, Unless it's magic missile. I think you... magic missile is just a hit. Nah, it's not witch bolt or magic missile. Um, let me check. Something worth this? All right. Uh, spell attack. Spell attack modifier. Spell attack bonus. <laughs> I think it's spell attack bonus. Spell attack bonus. Okay. Follow just so you know, I did roll for you, uh, Jang and oh, Slim to be hit with that thing. Come on, no. <laughs> anyway, anyway, it's an eighteen. Yeah, eighteen better hit. Yeah, 18's hitting. Yeah, eighteen hitting. Okay, that better hit. All right, roll on damage. What is tilt chat? So, can I roll for extra depending on the level? Because this is a can trip, but it's been a while. Um, try to move as fast as I can because the game's really slow. Uh. What, what does no. Slim have against Mimi's butt? Spell damage. You will have to ask Slim that. <laughs> Eight. Eight damage, okay. Max damage. Max damage, okay. You guys just see that hand come down. Uh, <laughs> Gavelt's master hand come and just grip the gator. And uh, it's doing eight damage. As a... Uh, as Gavel, uh grips it, that croc lets go of your axe, Jeng, and you feel a little weight shift off, and you're able to grab it more. It's now, uh, like, are you doing anything with Keith King, or no? Uh, Keith King stays on Gavel's in the arm. He stays in snake form in his arm. Alright, and we got another croc. While he's holding. Are, are you doing something else, or... No. No, 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 I'm good. Okay, okay. So he just he just has one of them. He just has he has one of them held down. Uh, a seventeen hits you right, Jang. Yes. Okay. Um, you are taking three points of damage as a crocodile comes out and snaps onto your leg. This one, he's a little smaller than the rest of them. He looks like he kind of like snuck up there and got you. This is me, right? Yeah, yeah, this is you. They're not really aiming for uh, Mimi because he doesn't. He's like veg <laughs> like vegetation, not <laughs> they don't see him as meat. Okay. Oh, what? And... A, a, a salad isn't good enough for them. Uh, Croc one, the one that you smacked, might attack you. Uh, no, he sna he snaps at the paddle, but he misses with a nine. The one that Gavelt you have in your clutches is gonna try to. Nope, is not doing nothing <laughs> with a seven. No, nope, it just get no, it just gets pulled back like <laughs> trying to bite her. Yeah, and it's now your turn, Jane. All right, so. Uh, responding to this crocodile snapping at me, I'm going to activate rage and uh, attack it with attack it with. All right, first I'm going to I'm going to activate rage and try to pull my uh, war war axe out. Okay, uh, if you do that, um, you can you can do one of one of the other as a bonus action: rage or pull the war axe. If you want to go to rage, you'll have to use your action to try to get the croc from him. But if you if you roll an athletics check to do that, if you get high enough, I will let you, like, get the axe out and slam them with it. 
but if you if you don't use your rage and just uh, try to pull it, it's just going to be a straight, you know, trying to get it away from them. Athletic shit. I'm going to try to pull. I'm going to try to pull it out first. Okay. That one. Oh Bro. damn! All right, let me go. Severity. Holy fuck. fucking Jesus! Oh no! Holy <laughs> fuck. Two. So, okay. what did you just fail trying to do? She was trying to pull her axe out. Okay, as um, as you try to get a better grip on it, uh, Jane, you oh. kind of slide off, and the axe is cutting both of your arms. Oh, oh, I was like, not, not my butt again. And let me. <laughs> you said the axe is cutting what? Uh, Both Jeng's arms. Yeah, and you're taking ten points of damage. Oh, okay. And the axe is in the water she... now. Is she in rage? Let that count as a bonus action, so you still have an action. Okay, so Jeng is gonna pull out her short sword and dagger. Can I attack with both? Like, cause I that's a main hand and offhand weapon. Yeah, yeah. I'll let I'll let it I'll let it go. Roll to hit for me. Uh, twice, one, roll hit. one without your modifier. I'd say dagger without the modifier. Woo. Yeah, it wasn't that 20 for severity, uh, Patat. Uh, 10 to hit with the dagger. 10 to hit. It You, you miss with the dagger. And then 10. 10 to hit. I get, no, no, Jang's, Jang's so... Uh, <laughs> In pain from having her uh, arm slashed, she's just kind of like slashing at the crocodiles, but just hitting the axe in the water. Oh, does a 10 hit? Well, how about a 10? <laughs> and then one's You're still like out. gripped on her leg. So Jang's not looking this too is, good. It's this not is getting out of hand. <laughs> oh, oh, one's, one's gripping Jang's leg? Yes. Are there two of them Okay, on well, Mimi me goes for that later then. Okay. A row to hit. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's you a hit. 21 hit. Yep, 21 hits. Roll that damage. And eleven. Eleven. Oh, okay. Yeah, Croc seven. Max damage. Eleven damage. That was ugly. Yeah, this uh, this Croc, you just see it fly off of the leg and squirm back into the water as it gets hit with Mimi's paddle. It's not dead, but it looks like it's not fighting anymore. It's running. And it's now uh, Croc three's turn, which is. Currently, on your axe. Um, yeah, it thinks the axe is a person, so it's just gnawing on it. Uh, Croc four, roll for him. Okay, yeah, he knows. He knows it's not a thing. And seeing uh, Mimi swinging, he's gonna go for Mimi. Oops, I kind of dropped that one. You roll again. Okay, no, nine doesn't hit you. At least I'm pretty sure with your shield, nine don't hit. Um, yeah, no. Yeah, you see one just release from the axe and snap at you, but it uh, misses. Uh, welcome, uh, loyal. Uh, we are still in mid combat. If you want to hop in, I'll put you. I'll put you last. Okay, you're going. Okay, uh, he's. He said he just wait. Uh, okay. He was running a little late because of class, and now it is Lorcan. It's your turn. Alright, um, uh, is my leg still bleeding or do that, uh, yeah, uh yeah, healing still, potion, or? You can use that as a bonus action, if you want. Oh, if, I drank it when you gave it to me. Oh, okay, well, it, it, it has to go on your turn. Uh, roll 4d4, oh, okay. or, yeah, roll 4, or no, it's, it's 2d4 plus 4, uh, roll that for me. Not 4d4, that's a, that's a heavy potion. It's a it's an ultra potion. 11. 11, okay, yeah, you heal for 11 damage. Okay, uh, so uh, I'm at full health again. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, that potion uh, 
hit the right spot, and uh, you see the teeth marks on your leg start healing and the bleeding uh, stop. And you're, uh, you're able to use an action now. Okay. Uh, can I... Can I just... Um... Does moving count as a bonus, or like, it, uh, is you that have, you have thirty feet of movement action? Okay, can I move up behind where uh, they're fighting the alligators and just take out my bow and just uh, shoot it at the closest alligator to if, whoever it is? If you attack uh, that close with a ranged weapon, it's at disadvantage. Okay, but then I'll be like here with it, and it'd be fine, or where you're at with it. And it'd be fine. Yeah, but can I sort of like not be right behind them? Can I sort of try to like move to a spot where it's like they're off to the side of where I'm shooting from? They're they're close, but I say you you have a clear shot on a couple gators. Okay, okay, that's fine. Just just take, don't hit me in the ass. Then I'll take a shot right. at uh at one of the gators. Yeah, I just own that one. <laughs> uh, what do I? Roll? Um, sure. I I think, uh, a d20 plus your dex, unless you're proficient in a short bow, then it'd be plus your dex plus two. Over high elf? Yeah. Uh, let me check. I literally rolled the worst possible thing. He should be proficient if he's an high elf. Not 20 plus three. 23. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, you're you're hitting the one Gavelt's got, uh... Like kind of pulling back with his magic, roll that damage, and then roll another. Or it's I think it's d uh, d six plus your dex, and then roll an extra d six after that for damage. You said it's a short ball, right? Yeah. He should be proficient He's, in it. Yeah, well, it, he got a nat twenty anyway. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, if I'm proficient, does that mean plus three? So is that one d six plus three? Yeah, one d six plus three, and then another d six. Okay. For the crit. It's it's plus your dex modifier, like proficiency doesn't right. affect the amount it does. All right, yeah, eight points of damage goes on that gator. Uh, you just see an arrow shoot through that thing's eye, and uh, Gavelt, you feel the resistance stop. You guys killed Croc too. Oh, that one just died. Yep. Mm -hmm. I wait. Isn't it um? Isn't the three also multiplied by two? No, no. I don't think it matters at this point anyway. Anyway, it, it, it's dead. Yeah, yeah, pull it out, loose. Pull it up the water. The yeah, that thing's, that thing's dead, them. and then uh, it is now single nuggets turn. So, how many are left alive? Uh, you got um, six gators alive, five still in combat. One is fleeing. You can try to hit him if you want. Hmm. No, I hit one of the ones that close. Okay. And hopefully not shoot anyone else. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully not you. Let's see what you got. Oh yeah, that hits. It's it's pretty hard to miss with those modifiers. Well, plus seven modifier. Oh yeah, one. rub it in. Well, plus seven modifier. And one. <laughs> Jang had a plus five and she missed twice. Well, plus seven. <laughs> what, what modifier is that? How? Wait, it says it on my sheet. So it must be yeah, that's right. that's proficiency uh, plus his archery in uh, or for being a ranger. Okay. Yeah, roll that damage. Jeez. All right, six points of damage. Yep, you guys just killed uh, the first gator that attacked uh, Lorcan. Croc one is down. Lorcan starts clapping. <laughs> Lorcan's pretty excited. Two are down. Two are down. What? Four more down. Uh, there are five still alive. Okay. But is it only four in combat? Yeah, only four in combat, and it's now baloney crisis turn. Okay, so I was able to follow this round this time. Beautiful. 
Um, can I use my healing word at a second level? Or since it's listed on my character sheet under first level, can it only be used as You can as use it as a second level. level. I think it adds a dice to it. So yeah, it would be 2d4 plus my modifier then? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I'm going to use that on Jane then. Okay, awesome, awesome. Roll that uh, healing. Why does it keep auto-correcting the one? I'm upset. I'll just do a second one then. Yeah, that's fine. Just roll another d4. First one was max, though, so that's good. And, Jane, yeah, you heal for 11 points of damage, Jane. Awesome. I'm only two points for max. Awesome, awesome. Yay. Uh, and you still got an action if you want to hit something, uh, Baloney. Or if you want to do um, anything. Hmm. Do you have any banana peels left? I have three banana peels, and I was thinking about throwing one and seeing what that would do. <laughs> but no, I'll just use the healing word as my action. Okay. Oh, oh so you, okay. All right. Well, I mean, that's safe, too, not getting by any gators. It is. It would now be, oh, Croc 5's turn. And um, closest one to the water, I guess, is still either Jang or Mimi. Let me roll for this. I want to see if it knows. If, oh, yeah, it knows uh, Mimi. You say uh, <laughs> living thing, so it's going to attack you. Um Holy fuck. All right. That's not good. These fucking gators. Um, what? You're hit with I'm seven beat, points. Uh... That's already halved. You're hit with seven points of bite or piercing damage, not bite damage. Uh, as one okay. grabs, your, grabs you by your torso, Mimi. Oh. <gasps> So, I'm like inside of a gator right now? Uh, yeah, Mimi is like halfway in a gator. It just nat 20 him. Nice. I just see like the camera pan toward Mimi like how did I end up in this situation? Rats, <laughs> freeze frame. Well, well, this at, is well at least it wasn't, my, it wasn't my butt this time. <laughs> One of the teeth grazed your butt. Oh god. <laughs> No, that, that'd be putting you salt see, on the wound. It's not Mimi, Mimi, pulls, Mimi, pulls, Mimi pulls up a pain face. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, he's being eaten, and I don't know what to do. Uh, okay. Does, um, he even, does, does he even appeal to them? <laughs> uh, Baldwin is going to try to grab you, uh, Mimi, by your hands. And... <laughs> Uh, no. Nah. Uh, well, let me roll for the gator. Okay, yeah. Uh, You go a little bit deeper into the water as Baldwin's uh, trying to pull you out, but it, he ain't getting no room uh, to get you out. It's now Croc's sixth turn. And it uh -huh. is aiming for Baldwin. <sighs> and it's hitting. Uh, as Baldwin's trying to pull you out... Uh, he's taken five points of piercing damage on the leg as he's now being dragged toward uh, the water. And we're going to uh, slam. It's your turn. Oh, oops. I forgot I'm on push attack. Uh, I'd like to attack a gator. Okay, which one? You got Good uh, choice. two visible right now. One is pulling in uh, Mimi. And then one is pulling in Baldwin. Is either one damaged? Uh, no. Okay, uh... What do you mean, not damaged? We... Two of the turns we killed one of them, like... Wait, oh, wait. oh, okay, never mind. Who has, who has less health who's being pulled by the gator? Uh, Baldwin definitely has less health, I'm pretty sure, than uh, I'll, Mimi. I'll, I'll, shoot, I'll shoot the one that's holding Baldwin. Okay. Uh, Rode a hit for me. Let's hope you don't kill Baldwin on accident. <laughs> Second that one in a row. Oh, nope. Okay, yeah, you hit the gator. 
No, he a he aims for Baldwin, rolls a nat one, and hits me. <laughs> I'll hit you. <laughs> With uh, oh, five that. points of damage. All right, good shot. I saw that one in my heart stop. Uh, Croc... Oh, yeah, yeah good no, he got was... it there. Croc 6 is taking five points of damage. Uh, Man, I'm, I'm, a deadly. God. I'm a god at now. <laughs> it is now your turn, Gavelt. Okay, so the situation is one is holding low friend, another one is holding Jank. Wait, no, no, no. I'm not. No, I'm not no, no. near there. One, not love for him, Baldwin. Baldwin and one is holding Mimi, but Mimi is halfway yeah. inside this gator. Your darn names are so close. Anyway, that's Baldwin. Um, <clears throat> and then Mimi's halfway in the water. Is he growing or anything like that? Uh, no, no. Mimi's just like inside of a gator, <laughs> or halfway inside of a gator right now. Um, <clears throat> okay. What in the world? Uh, the cheat and I should actually can't trigger the one can't trigger. You should be useful, but not. Okay, give us the cast magic missile on the one that's in the, on the one that has Mimi in his mouth. Okay, roll that damage for me. If I magic missile at level one, find the card. It's been a while since I look at this card, too. Magic missile. No, stupid. There we go. 1d4 plus plus. <laughs> Max damage. All right, four points of damage. Uh, as you just see, uh, and your all three missiles are hitting it. Yeah. Okay, so like... 12, 12 points of damage. Uh, Mimi, you're just inside of a gator, and you just hear an explosion, and you now have a gator mouth like kind of Hulu dress going on, as like the neck down nice. has just been exploded by. Uh, magic missiles, and you guys killed Croc 5. Argavel, you killed Croc 5. But it is... So is Mimi free? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. See, if you hear just yell, get out the water. Get out the water! Yeah. And it's, uh, Keith King, is he doing anything or no? Still in the snake form. Okay, okay. And then Croc 7 is going to continue to run. Croc 7 is now out of combat. <laughs> You guys won't be able to catch him. Uh, it is now Jang's turn. Uh, is Mimi still inside the crocodile? Um, he, no, no. no he well, got, no. He's got a we crocodile got mouth on him, but <laughs> so technically, <laughs> yeah, technically, but that gator's dead and most <laughs> mostly gone. Like we neck just, uh, down is gone. Okay, I'll leave that up. Oh, I, I have I have like a belt. Now. Yeah, you just see like well, it's more like I guess another dress on top of the dress. You just see Mimi's oh, little no. green toes like wiggling outside of the, like neck of the gator oh, no. <laughs> as it got blown to pieces. What? What is with my get up? <laughs> He's starting his own fashion line <laughs> in the middle of a campaign. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I guess Jang is going to uh, start attacking the nearest gator. All right, that'll be the one holding Baldwin. Uh, you still got your short sword and your dagger out. If you oh, wait, there was, one attacking, there was one attacking Baldwin? Yeah, I'd be focused on getting that, like, no tomorrow. Are you going to go into rage, or? Yeah, definitely going okay, into rage. all right, rage, rage Finally. activated. <laughs> Roll to hit with the short sword. 11 to hit? 11, that does not hit, sadly. Okay, roll to hit with the dagger. No. Oh, yep, Jang, Jang's just a little flustered about not being able to do anything with her axe. And uh, Blindly, she's right. not used to using these weapons. Couldn't you attack recklessly? Oh, no, never mind, it's not the first attack. She, she tried to go oh, yeah, no, I would have been able to attack reckless. Use reckless attack. Because right. of... It's too late now. I'm gonna say. Got it. You'd have to say it before you before you. you gotta go. remember. Gotta remember these things. All uh, right. It's now Mimi's turn. Uh, you just got a gator exploded uh, around your feet. Gavel just here. He's Gavel just says, "Get out the water." <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, Mimi looks at Gevelt and like like salutes for help, helping him. Um, uh, Gevelt just you just look like you're about to power up another magic missile and shoot it in another direction. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the closest gator to me uh, now? The one right beside you, holding Baldwin by the leg. Okay, well Mimi goes for that then. All right, roll to hit. So... That's oh, a 22 yeah, that hit. Hits. Yeah, that hits. Bro, that damage. Poor, and poor 11. So Max poor damage. Hit. Yeah, uh, you slap down on this gator, and uh, as you do, it kind of just releases Baldwin. And starts uh, floating. Yeah, oh. you guys killed Gator Six. Bad Gator. Uh, uh, seeing this, Gator Three and Gator Four are going to flee. Uh, it is Lorcan. It's your turn if you want to take any shots at them, or if you just want to let them go. Uh, no, we can let them go. But I would like to. Pull in one of those dead gators like, and does anybody cut it up. Want to take a hit on them? That's after Mimi in rotation. No, no. <laughs> I want to definitely try to get stuck with one of these. Oh, okay, yeah, right. mad... I think I think we've done enough harm for the nature. <laughs> yeah. okay. develop, right. develop, develop magic aura. Develop magic aura just lowers. Dude, Jang had a rough fight there. I'm so sorry for us. Oh, oh no, it happened because you tried to save me. Thank you, Jane. Character growth for Baloney. He healed another orc person. So, um, can we now go on the, to, like, to the other side uh, of the river and maybe have a break? Yeah, like if y'all want to go. Uh, about, the tree. <laughs> the belt just walks by Mimi. He just oh, sorry. looks around. He just looks around, touches the water, create an ice path with the, just the shade water sand trip. See, just turn around, <laughs> walk carefully. Let's keep moving. Th thank, thank you. <laughs> Jang is disappointed. Who, who is the most clumsy out of the group? Like, I want them to roll a dexterity save just for shits and giggles. Who, who would be the Baldwin? You know, Jang is the worst at dexterity saving. Throws. Okay, so <laughs> Jang, roll a dex save for me. Yeah, as, as soon oh. as you say that, Jang slips and falls in the water. <laughs> Nothing happens, just she falls off the ice in the water. And she's kind of just Can I there. help her up? <laughs> yeah. Actually, no, 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 don't help me up. Can I dive in and try to go for my battle axe? Yes, yes, you can. I, I just say it's just sitting there. It's, it's not Wait, the wasn't one of the crocs right still chewing on it? No, no, they ran. Yeah, oh. croc three was, but he, he dipped. Jeng tries to play it off like that was intentional. <laughs> Rogue deception. Well, just... <laughs> you, 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 you were Develt just going for your battle axe. Devil just has a concern. Just has that concerned frog look that I can see keep close to the picture. Hey, uh, we're going to take a break, guys, after this deception roll. Just so you guys know. Five. Five. Okay. Uh, not very convincing. Not that believable. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to say Gavelt still has to concern for all clothes. Just, oh, just keep yeah. going. It just looks at that concern. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Can... We wanted to skin the crocodile. See what no, we get no, I'm going to let you guys after we uh, take a break. Oh, okay. All right. Poor, poor yeah, Jang. Uh, we'll, we'll start up again at uh, 1045. Uh, welcome to the session, Loyal. Sorry that uh, combat sequence took so long. Oh, no, you guys are fine. I wasn't thinking like actually. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. My connection is being so dumb today. Oh, it's okay. You are not forgiven. Chat, can, can you roll for connection? What? While this is going on, I'm going to uh, take a or go get a drink if that's cool, guys. I'm no, you're not call. allowed. All right. Uh, I'm going to eat some sweet, sweet applesauce. Make, making a note, ban small potato later. You're going to die from dehydration. Oh. Making a note, arrest small potato later for trying to oh. kill. I'm going to ask uh, 
Sam to borrow that baboon so I can drink some mayonnaise. <laughs> Who has oh, that thing currently? It's, Who's Sam, holding that thing it's currently? on Sam right now, our single nugget. Okay. Yeah, Strudel Kitty uh, dumped it on him. Or not Strudel Kitty, the Kobolds dumped it on him. Mm -hmm. From Strudel Kitty. Toucan, Kitty what is. the heck is your nickname now? Uh, Toucan? In it Chinese? Wasn't a moment ago. No, no, it, look, at the ch look at the chat, it should be just Toucan. Yeah, but it, it wasn't a moment no, ago. Yeah, I, I oh, changed it, it before the stream it so it would updating. not be a topic. <laughs> While we yeah, stream. Yeah, we can that. Like, one, one ton soup? But I'll be back. For whatever reason, his name isn't changing. For me, at least. It still has oh. the weird Chinese characters in the voice chat. It says Toucan for me. Oh crap, I meant to read message them. I totally forgot. Man, whole different session. Hey, I told you that last week. You managed to persuade me to basically drown myself with the baboon thing, and my character will be dumb enough to do it. Mm. Oh my god, apparently me and two kids are fucking. Welcome to our ASMR corner. Today's oh God, no. ASMR corner is provided to you by Dr. Vegapunk. I hope you enjoy your stay. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to the ASMR. I am your host, Dr. Vegapunk. <laughs> we are here to talk about oh. to talk about the great and mighty and majestic Nile River Death Crocodile. I thought Falu was Perfect. the host because he introduced you. You're just like he said featured by Doctor. He said featured by Doctor Vegapunk. I'm the one who's supposed Yes, to featured, oh, meaning that you're kind of included. You're the performer, uh, the host. Oh boy! By the way, uh, I implore you to translate Toucan's name. So wait, um, uh, Sam. It, it, could would would I be able to convince you to douse yourself in eight ounces of acid? No, that would be boring. Oh, that, okay. That baboon, that baboon has acid. Okay. Or like a uh, one gallon of honey. Hmm. No, I mean, I can convince, drown well, myself. In nah, nah, Falu, convince Slim of that. Slim tissue would love to be bathed in honey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Milk and honey bath. If I can drown in it, I will drown in it. And you can convince me to drown myself mm -hmm. in it. During the short rest, can we have a mayonnaise eating contest? Why? Why not? But why? Because we can. Or can we have a beer drinking contest? Or a poison drinking contest? Mm. Ooh, that sounds fun. I'd take you up on that one. Just take me out of this life already. I'm so tired. It sounds fun, but you go first. Wink, wink. I have no issue that, with that. that. By the time we get the first syllable of acid out of the way, she's all she's already uh, grabbing the uh, baboon. Let me check that. Are we playing again? No, it's no, it's, not, it's on, we're on break. Oh, we're right for like three, three, three more minutes or four. You can role play lines if you want to, because nobody role plays. We just sit here in silence. Yes? What is it? No, I was um, role playing. You oh, want okay. Some honey? Want some honey? Was that them? your yeah. uh, was that your line? Me, 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 me. Mm. 
You, you know. look at the river and see Lorcan <laughs> wrestling a dead gator. Hey, Vega, could you play some, Making, like, uh, noises. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Vega, could you, yeah. could you uh, play some like soul up. music? No, no, don't listen to that request, please. And then follow to imitate, um... No. Like a radio, radio uh, DJ. <laughs> but, uh... I'm the niggas XLR jazz talk like, jazz song. Two, in two minutes, we'll be starting. And, uh, if, you, if you guys are here and want to loot the gators, go ahead and roll a survival check for me. Like, and then whoever comes in that's not here, I'll just be like, okay, you go ahead and roll that if you want. want that's do, do, I, do, I, do I already have? Do I already have like 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 skin and teeth? Uh, I rolled a seventeen. I would say twenty-one. Yeah, no matter what you roll, uh. A fall or Mimi, I would just say you have a head. I got, a, I got a twenty-one as well. Okay. Wow. I got a nat, nat 20. twenty. Oh. Well, that was a useful nat twenty. Drowned in mayonnaise really wants that mayonnaise, if you know what I mean. Ten for no, mayonnaise. I actually, I actually, I actually don't. Could you elaborate, goat? <laughs> Jane, I would go ahead and switch to Tatsumaki the way Miki's treating you tonight. No! Tatsumaki doesn't go. No. Look, I'm, I'm gonna... Never, I'm gonna show never, you real quick. Without modifiers. <laughs> hmm. I'm a roll and I guarantee I get it done. At one. I mean, there's always a chance. Well. What the heck is it? What the heck is it? Two minutes. Yep. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're a liar, dude. Stop. You're cheating what somehow. Fuck? What? What? No. Dude, how? What? Okay, try Koya. Try Koya. You said no. I'm going to roll on that one first. Uh, okay. Toucan? No. What about Tatsumaki? Hold on, I'm not in there. Yeah, uh, Toucan. I, I, I tried, I tried Koya. Lorcan offers on the then... Toucan, I'm gonna make Gavelle roll a, uh, nature check, see if he finds a piece of a spider web, just to see if he can find one. <laughs> you actually got a one, god damn it. <laughs> I'm what not about Tatsumaki? That I'm not counting that one, but uh, because you already like you already rolled, but I'm just saying Tatsumaki's not like horrible. Tatsumaki doesn't count. Did. You just said it. You just said Tatsumaki doesn't count. My well, not one doesn't roll, count. That row doesn't. Ah. By transitive property, no roll from Tatsumaki counts. No, that's not Hence, true. I rolled an at twenty, and you said it was a ten. <laughs> because you rolled a ten first. But that didn't count. So when we get to the other side, are we taking a short break? Uh, if you guys want to, uh, I'm gonna let you know what's up. Um... So what stupid thing do I get for Nat twenty? Nat and twenty. Trying to uh, let me crocodile? let me roll for you. Um... Always get twenty. This By the way, do we have... do we heal? Do we heal at all during a, a short rest? Uh, yeah, you get to roll your hit dice per level. I I report per your level, like you're a level 3 Barbarian, so you'll roll 3 Barbarian hit die, which I think is a d12, and then oh, same what? with everybody else. If we do take a short rest, I'm going to have Baloney do Song of Rest, so all the friendly creatures gain a 1d6 additional healing at the end of a short rest. Yeah. Is anybody injured more than 3 points? Uh, I'm injured by 10, po 10 points. Oh, well, damn. <laughs> damn. So, damn. My bad. Okay, well, we're, we're going to go ahead and start. Uh, I'm going to say on that check, uh, let me roll check. real quick, actually. For, uh, oh, yeah, oh. it is a 1d12. Ooh, okay. Um, so, all the crocs that died besides the one... Uh, uh, that's just a head. You see 
a single nugget go and start getting the skin off of a uh, single nugget you ha you now have three uh full alligator hides or crocodile hides sorry you just hog so them. so there's this there's this short gnome dragging three yeah. full skins so. yeah. <laughs> and uh let me see what you guys get Okay, uh, Slim and uh, Lorcrin, you both get 42 crocodile teeth. God damn it. I have a question. No, me? Go ahead. Uh, how did you determine the number 42? I'm not going to tell it's, the, it's, it's the meaning, uh, of, it's the mean, meaning of life. What's the, <laughs> I mean, I mean, go kind of question. You know how many crocodiles we just killed and how much teeth they have in their mouths all together? Wait. Toucan, I wanted to like gut it for meat. No, uh, well, I, I rolled for that. You got teeth with, with your roll. Wow, I'm a shitty fucking. <laughs> no, no, it's... no, you did, you did good. Like uh... that was like the second best thing you could get. Sadly, what Sam oh my God. the first best thing you could get with his nat twenty, and then the max what... roll on loot what... from me. What... Is it possible to, like, apply the teeth to, like, the arrowheads? Uh, you can try to makeshift that later. Okay. You, I would, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, like, if you want that done, I would try to, like, talk to Don Box, maybe, about that. Anyway, um, if Bell puts his arm out, Nate just turns, you know, the energy goes around his arm, it turns right back into, it turns into a, back into the hawk again, and it's just on his shoulder. Okay. Yeah, he's just looking. He he's just looking around at the sky. Yeah, I see the hawk just fly off his shoulder, and he just looks at everybody else. <sighs> How's everybody doing? Awful. I'm gonna roll we... a performance check for my song of rest, just because I want to see what happens. Okay. Are we taking Are we taking the short I break right now? Uh, yeah. do you guys want to take the short break? <laughs> you know. I mean, well, I'm up, realized... I'm up for it. I have. Uh, so I've just realized something. I've been using a short bow this whole time when my short bow doesn't work that well and I've actually got a long bow. Yeah, you, yeah, you do have, bow. yeah. Okay. Is it the same? Um, isn't it 1D8? Okay, so not not the best song from Baloney's Bagpipes. It, it kind of sounds like... It kind of sounds like cats are in a fight, uh, so... Actually, go ahead and roll that d6 for everybody, uh, Baloney. For damage? No, no. For, for everyone? Uh, for, uh, the opposite. <laughs> Literally the opposite, you barbarian piece of trash. Alright, everybody gets three. an additional three, uh, healing with whatever they roll if they need to. Uh, I roll... I rolled 1d20 since the uh, hawk is in air to see if there's so, anything in the sky. Uh, right. so one, we can... one second. One second on that. Okay. Glad... So we can roll for hit points right now? Yes, yes. Anybody that needs to heal, uh, you go ahead and roll your hit die. Like, you would get 3d12, uh, Falu. Oh, Ooh. that's a 31. <laughs> that is all good, Rose. Yeah. I literally heal the max no matter what, so I'm not even gonna bother yeah, rolling. Yeah, yeah, you're good. If if it's three that you're missing or less than three, you're definitely good. If it's any more than three, there is a chance, but I'm going to roll for Baldwin. Oh yeah, he gets his hit points back. The benefits of having a bard. Thank you. Even though that sound is a weird one, I definitely feel. <laughs> uh, a little more rested, thank you. It's I've a special healing work. spell. Don't worry too much about it. I've heard words from Lorcan singing when he's drunk. Uh, comment. <laughs> he looks. He yeah. looks toward you, Lorcan. I right, uh, he looks at you. It's it's, <laughs> it's nice to. It was special, all right. To, to chill out or get and relax a little bit, and he like gives you a wink, uh, Lorcan. I I, I I go in my code and get up my special herd box. Oh, okay. All right. Now, let's see. Just like, 
walks toward uh, walks towards some nearby like just stands, uh, not too close, but stand by some nearby bushes, looking kind of hidden. But uh, uh, as you do that, I to see. as you do that, you all hear a very audible roar. Oh, okay. Coming back from the oh. camp where you guys left originally. Oh, no. uh, okay. Can we can we move along? <laughs> Christ. We can uh, roll that one to twenty for the bird now <laughs> for the hawk. Okay. okay can we roll to roll to determine like? Oh, what? amazing! Shit! Amazing! <laughs> it's even nothing. Uh. Okay. Wow. So Keith King. Uh, tries to fly up, but he keeps getting caught in the tree branches. But the trees keep extending out just to catch in the familiar. No, no, they're yeah. not. They're not even moving in this area. It's just he's not. He's not doing too well. <laughs> on flying. Well, just says. Can we? You embassy. Can we roll to determine yeah. what the roar was made by? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. I'll give you guys an advantage. What, perception or what, we roll? Uh, what, what do we roll? Go ahead, go ahead, Mimi Dank, since you wanted to. Uh, uh, straight intelligence, and then I'll give you a... Advantage. Intelligence. Okay, yeah. <laughs> intelligence. <laughs> sure. Why not? And you uh, an advantage. advantage. Rolling that one, guys. I oh. Oh, that's an 18. Oh. Oh, yeah. And you, a nine. you know it's a dragon. What a pro. I can imagine in that one. <laughs> Guys, I think Dawn just Ooh. roared at us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, that was definitely see, see all, uh, Mimi. See, see, Gavel, was that what I think? So, does that sound what I thought it was? How bad would yes, that yes, one yes, be it was. with a negative <laughs> modifier? See, Gavel just, back, Gavel just backs up into the forest. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Uh, now. Can I, can I tap myself and become invisible? Uh, yep. Okay, I do that. No, you no, you miss. <laughs> no, but what well, you were, were saying something, Sam? I was saying, how bad would a nat one be with a negative modifier? I was just saying a critical fail, and then I'd roll uh, severity. Okay. And anyway, oh, hey, oh, what? Uh, trying to hear. A uh, bald one is shaking track. right now. Doesn't going invisible not matter at all if it's the dragon. Anyway, Gavel quickly, Gavel quickly turns the familiar back into a monkey, <laughs> and it just jumps somewhere. He just keeps backing up. Let's let's not let's change our position. Keep moving. Z, why? I wonder what would cause. Zial does roar like that. Did something happen at the Cobalt Camp? Are you curious to find out? Or would you prefer... Are you curious to find out? Or would you prefer to experience the wrath of a true ancient dragon? Uh, he looks at you dead, dead face, uh, Gavel. Uh -huh. There's no backing away from this dragon. If it wants to find us, it will find us. I can assure you that. Um, you think about yes, and that's why I need to make sure. See, so you just tap his foot, starts slowly disappearing. I disappear. Clarify, what are you doing? Like he missed his step, but he missed his step. He didn't, he missed his step where he could be seen, but he's not too far from the party. But the monkey goes on Walker's shoulder. What? But you the monkey? Talk. I'm invisible, bitch. No. <laughs> you just see him uh, floating, monkey. <laughs> no, <laughs> I shoot no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I take a belt, misty steps. <laughs> no, no. The Keep King appears on Lorquin's shoulder, and Lorquin. Not Lorquin. I mean Baldwin. Oh, okay. Baldwin. Baldwin. He just dumped a ball on the shoulder, and I uh, see his eyes glow and just talk, start talking through Gabelt's voice. <clears throat> I don't, I, I don't ever underestimate any sort of dragon. Just have to make. I just, I'm aware that every last one of you made a contract with it. <laughs> Not that you all have a choice. But Can we, case, or are we moving towards the tree? See the monkey snap his fingers? That's a great idea. <laughs> That's a great idea. 
I wonder if poison works on a dragon. What do you say? You say how does poison Poison in 5e is stupid. You see the monkey. The monkey's mouth isn't moving, but it's speaking telepathically. They're immune to poison. <laughs> well, this type uh, specific, well, specific. What about vinegar? Bald, Baldwin <laughs> is just looking worried. I, I think we should move forward, maybe? I'm not sure. Or hide the one of the two? Jang, Jang is Let's definitely go. focused on moving forward. Uh, although I think hiding would just extend the inevitable. If it is yeah, it, yeah it doesn't help at all. Let's keep moving. If we, keep, <clears throat> if we stay hidden within the deep forest, <clears throat> we might be able to avoid a sight, but let's keep moving. Uh, Baldwin uh, says, well, if we climb, we won't be hidden for long. Is that the only way up the tree to climb? Uh, that's the only idea I have. You can take a vote, monkey, this face palm. Damn it. I forgot there's an artifact here. <laughs> I'm uh, going to try to climb the tree. Okay. Um, if you're climbing, there's so many vines. It's not even hard, for real. But if you want to start climbing, I want a athletics with advantage. For right now, I'm going to start climbing with Bob. Bob, when's going with you, he understands. Uh, oh, okay, good thing there's advantage. Okay, advantage Monkeys really didn't are... matter. Um, Bob Monkeys gets on his shoulder. Feet up and he falls. Oh, my booty. Ow. My and he booty. Takes four points of <laughs> falling damage. Jang, why? 12 to climb. You're good. You're good. It's not very hard. Okay. At Why, 22. Jay? 14 for Lord Is Lord Kryn successful? At, well, yeah. at, at 22. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mimi becomes one with the tree. He just kind of starts, like, sliding <laughs> up the tree. Mimi is doing so well tonight, but Jang. <laughs> is it athletics? Yeah, athletics. Yeah. yeah. Not one on. Uh, he's got advantage. <laughs> Thank God he's got advantage. Not another one. Can I roll an nature check to see if Gavel can find a spider web again? Uh, I'm not doing very good at climbing. Uh, a, well, a six. It must be all those crocodiles I'm dragging around. Are you not going with the party, Gavel, up the tree? I'm debating. I, I, I'm debating because it's kind of hard for me to decide what the character is. This is going to be another uh, boat thing. <laughs> They're going to have to come back down the tree anyway, oh, but. Another one. Oh, um, uh, advantage. Six. Well, that ain't as bad, but yeah, single, single starts to fall, and he question. takes two points of falling damage. Can, can I use an acrobatics check, or do I have to use athletics? It's going to be athletics this time because you got to kind of like fight through the vines like they're there to help but you kind of have to you know <laughs> wrestle through them that's a monkey just climb up easily because it's a monkey yeah Doesn't well mean... loyal like you ain't got to roll i know you're driving ain't you like no I... I just got home oh okay okay i was about to say if you're if you're driving you know i'm just gonna say you're you're good he deck you just Wrong sort of enough. appears and starts climbing the tree I mean, I'd rather give him a free climb than, like, endanger his life, you know? <laughs> We're all in athletics, right? Yeah. Okay. So he's, going roll again. He's, going going to a, he's going to attempt to roll. You say with advantage? Yeah. Does okay. a 13 work? So yeah, the 13 works. Oh, Loyal, back how did you? How did you? Oh, no. no how did you roll a double net one? Okay, not too bad. So, you're just falling, just loyal. head first, and you're taking loyal, five, you know, five points of falling damage, Hideki. As you can, you guys kind of see him like just fall a little bit. He gets hung by the foot. He thinks he's okay, and then his foot slips out, and then he hits his face on the dirt. So what happens to Gavel? <laughs> Did you say the guy in him? Session is terrible. Uh, what even the difficulty is? Is this you or Keith King? No, nah, this is Gavel. 
Uh, you know, Keith King's on modifier. So Keith King probably would have a climb modifier, but yeah, uh, this is for you with a seven. You're falling. Or you're getting a little bit up. So we're roll again. Uh, well, well he he takes one, plus zero. Or Gavelt takes one point of falling damage. He didn't roll at with an advantage. I don't. Oh, like he didn't I, don't roll. Have, I don't have. A, I don't have an athletics modifier. He doesn't have athletics. Modifier. Oh, roll with advantage. And I'm sorry. I, I didn't know you didn't. Roll oh twice. yeah. Let me roll. Let, let me roll again. Yeah. yeah. Let me see. Well, then it's like plus nothing. It's just one. Wow. Oh, Another yeah. damage. Yeah. It's just one point of falling <laughs> damage. Uh, wow. You kind of like Mickey falling damage, but. Uh, Mickey's been savage. Uh, Baloney, are you there? Baloney might have, be having connection issues again. Okay. Gavel orders Key King to climb up with them, which uh, you what? Let me find the monkey. No, let me find the no, monkey. No, that's stack. cool. Like after after I fell, I'm I was just seeing like how you guys did. Like it's a struggle for those of you that fell, but you're you know you're climbing. <laughs> oh, so we're climbing anyway. Yeah, okay. yeah. Like you guys are able to get up there. Um. And there's there's a bit of like you know some rough, uh, some rough uh, tracks. Uh, you guys are now sixty feet in the air, and there are still like vines, and you guys still seem to be at the base of the tree. This tree is gigantic. Full hours later. Was it? I'm beginning to wonder. Was it absolutely necessary for all of us to climb? See, the monkey's talking about. Well, then why did you climb, Master? I mean, <laughs> after all, don't you think that the dragon? Don't you think if the dragon were to come along, we both die? I, I want you to choice. roll me a d20, uh, Mimi Dank. Oh, uh, okay. What? My left heel. 1d20. Nine. Nine, okay, let me roll. Oh, okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah, that, it, um, you actually see your vines kind of grow and connect uh, with uh, the people, like, around you. You guys are kind of being, like, supported by Mimi now <laughs> as you're climbing. Oh. Tree. <laughs> you kind of feel an energy coming from the tree, uh, Mimi. Okay. And it's kind of, like, helping you. Uh, like kind of like giving you an extra little boost and oh. you you guys it seems like you're climbing forever you finally break the canopy and you guys just see trees on every horizon uh besides your uh east you see the ocean it's it's a really really uh beautiful sight baldwin actually stops to look at it, the sun uh, setting now. Uh, it kind of looks like the sun's kissing the ocean. This tree is so huge. You pretty much you could like sit. This tree is so huge, like you could sit on sit on the branch, and it's not even like the entire branch itself. Like it's pretty wide. Okay. That's oh it like yeah, it's it's big. Like a branch is yeah. like as thick as a normal tree. After that, Klein Gabel's just leaning up against the just leaning up against the. Uh, the trunk of the tree just and uh, breaking breaking the canopy. You guys are about a fourth of the way up the tree. No way. Remind me, where was the location of the artifact again? On top of the tree. Son of a bitch. Oh, Gavel's, Gavel's getting pissed. You're about to just get up. <laughs> are you? See him just put his arms in an X like position. <laughs> you see like this white aura go around him. He just jumps spells up higher. <laughs> just jumps up there to grab onto something. Oh, okay. So you're jumping. No. <laughs> um, oh, can man. I can I can I can I can I detach G Gavelt from the vines? <laughs> like one oh, like, be like before he does that. Well, you are can, can I can I please do that? Well I'm what? can I yeah, please Roll me a, roll me a D20. I'm, I'm going to go fair on this. If you get above a 10, you can. Follow. If it's below a 10, you can't. The hell? Okay, okay. fair enough. It, it, this is for Mimi. Okay, yeah. 19. Right, you let Gavelt go. I need you to roll a dexterity check for me, Gavelt. 
Because I don't want all of us to fall if Gefeld goes bonkers with Are the jumps. All... I thought we were all... Never mind. I guess hard for me to explain what I'm seeing in my head, but I'm like, what? <laughs> you guys were tied together. Uh, Falu released you, though, as you jam uh, or jumped. Oh, so fuck... Like, me and tied us all together? Okay. Well, the, the vines aren't thirty feet uh, no, long. No, so. I, d I don't, I don't, I don't want all of us to fall if you like jump spell and fail. Anyway, let me see. Uh, what am I rolling again? Dexterity. A dexterity check. To see if you can grab on yeah. something. You got this. I'm actually going to roll. You don't. Okay. I got, I got further fall anyway. I only going for three. Wow! Oh, <laughs> that one, dude. Another meet up okay, with the guy right, All right, so you guys see Gavelt lift off, and uh, as you lift, you you are not able to grab that branch, Gavelt, and you start falling. But as you fall, something grabs your robe, and you're kind of like hung there, and you get turned around, and you're now face to face with Zial. Oh. Um. Shit. And he's just looking at you. Can um um Mimi stops moving and Mimi stops moving and tries to act as if he's part of the tree. Okay. Uh, Gavelt, you're now being held up uh, by Zion, and that's the only thing keeping you from falling. See Gavel just like eyes wide open, mouth slightly open. Oh see him just smirk like see him just start smirking. You're great. <laughs> it's nice to finally meet you. ZL. <laughs> he keeps you in his hand and he looks down. He starts breathing hard, kinda of growling. He kind of like inhales through his big nostrils. You think you can pull one over on me? And he starts to climb down closer. Why? Well, oh, you see, Gavel. Oh, you see, Gavel. Well, what is that, be? Well, of course not. <laughs> not at all. As a matter of fact, Wizard, your as silence you can see. would be appreciated. And uh, he continues to climb down, and he starts smelling more, and he looks toward uh, Baldwin. <laughs> I was going to give you a chance, but you guys are far past that, and I think it's time you learned a lesson that, sadly, you won't be able to take into the future. And as this happens, uh, I need everyone to roll me a dexterity saving throw. You know Jeng, he sucks. Again? <laughs> okay. Uh, besides you, Gabelle. You... Oh, okay. and that's 20. What the? Jeng just rolled in that 20. Oh, oh God, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, this is the opposite what? of what should happen! A 14. Fuck you, Jang. You roll good and we all get bad luck. <laughs> Alright, and. Um, Gavelt? Give me a minute. Uh, no, Gavelt. I can't roll. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, never mind. Uh, he is not in range. This dragon is breathing oh, yeah. in, okay. and he's gonna hit you with his breath weapon. Wait, I need to. What do you think? What's my deck saving throw? I can check tell you. Yeah, can you tell me? <laughs> uh, dexterity saving throws for you. Well, um, what? so two can is is Mimi fine? Um, Mimi's gonna have to roll. I'm, I'm just like. <laughs> No, I, I, me, like, me, I, I did. Me, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, like, oh, oh, like oh. if, 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 I, like, if I'm fine, like, can I help the others with the vines, like, l lessen the oh, damage? Oh no, uh, they're, they're, oh, uh, everybody's, okay. everybody's getting hit. 
Oh, God damn it! I'm doing so bad today with my rolls. If you got above a 22, this damage is halved. Or <laughs> nat 20, the damage is halved. Yeah, no. Not even close. It's easy. And I'm going to go ahead and roll in Wait, here. It... So, because I'm not doing this. Okay, but I'll get hit too. Uh, no, you're Obviously. not getting hit. Wait, oh, I didn't, I didn't, oh, I didn't roll. Oh, what am I rolling? Well, roll. That's it, those. Hey, I get the fuck because I rolled a nat 20. <laughs> Is this a dex save? Yeah. Yep. Alright, so Jane, you take half this. Rhoda, 67, so everybody takes 67 damage besides Gavelt. And then Jane, you take uh, 33 points of damage. It is poison damage, so it's halved on Mimi. So we're all done. Oh, okay. No, no uh, me, Jane's me alive and with four, four health. Me and Jane are fine. What do you... You guys have 30... 30 something health? I yeah, have 30. 39. Okay. Well, and, uh. Um, as y'all breathe out, your skin just feels like it's tingling. You, you ever, like, sit on your hand for so long? Everybody's feeling this uh, besides Gavelt. And everything's going numb, and you all fall besides Gavelt. I'm pretty sure I just disintegrated. Yeah, single nugget didn't even make it. <laughs> you just see him melt away. And then uh Can I What what about what about Jeng and Mimi? Uh you Do guys we fall are falling, yeah. Well? Yeah, you're not. Did I get I was invisible. Like, yeah, was I in range of yeah, that shit? Yeah, you were in range of it. It's he's just aiming down the tree. Like Gavelt just wasn't in range because he was holding him with his hand. He was aiming down the tree? Yep. So he flew up with Gavel? No, he was he was up in the tree already waiting for you guys. But Gavel fell. Yeah, and he caught Gavel. Because Gavel was jumping up. He was above you. He caught him as he was falling. How do we not see this huge drag? Okay, that's a thick tree. <laughs> yeah, 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 oh, it's it's a huge tree. Awesome. And uh, uh and and I can I can't latch out with my vines to try like grab the tree. I will let you do it with disadvantage. Okay. Because you're kind of, you know, the poison's like still taking effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do I roll? A dexterity saving throw. Jeng is really bad at dexterity saving throws. Nat 20. But disadvantage follows. Baloney's just closing. A, nine, a 19. Okay. A 19. Release of death. What are my persuasion modifiers? Uh... <laughs> Zial just looks down a little persistence. Um, Gavel, I'm going to give you time to do one action and if you get to, but you're still being held by Zial and he's looking to like slam down on the tree to take off. Okay, so wait! You're wait, going face first on the tree under the dragon's Wait! 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 wait, wait. Wait! What is the person destroying us? There's obviously something that you want. There's always something you want. He, he, you see his darker green eye look down at you. I gave you a chance. And you got, you all betrayed me. And, uh, he uh, holds up. You see the body of a dead uh, Baldwin in uh, the dra or in Zial's tail, or being held by Zial's tail. And um, he brings it right next to you. I need you to make me a Constitution saving throw, Gavelt, because this thing is covered in poison. He wants you to reach into the pocket. Constitution saving throw. Okay. <laughs> Any darn tabs open. Let me close this to relevant. <sighs> Roll 1d20 plus 2. Eight. Oh. That's 
just great. Okay, you yeah, know, you're, you're able to grab in there, and you take out a bone. It looks like a piece of uh, dragon, like a spine, spinal cord bone, split in half. And you're taking... Look. You're taking 14 points of damage, uh, poison damage, from reaching oh, in there. I'm about, almost, about half dead. Anyway, <laughs> 10 damage. You, <laughs> you and your party have ruined everything. I will not rest until each of you are dead. And he's slamming you down, uh, Gavel. And... I'm Let pretty sure a 23 it. will hit you. Um, what is it? What is it against? Your AC. I just want to. I want to reiterate. Armor class. Yeah. Probably does. Okay. 11, 19, 26 points of uh, like crushing damage. I think it is. Uh, he just dies. <laughs> yeah, Gavelt gets squashed and. He's slowly lurching toward you, Falu and Jang. Just barely, you guys are just barely grasping on the life. But you guys heard oh, that okay. whole conversation what? and seen uh, Gavelt uh, hold the bone out. Okay, can I just ask, like, why is she, he, coming for all of us? Who do you add? The dry, is y'all? Yeah, well, if it, if it's coming for us, like, why why does it want to kill all of us? Okay, I'm gonna roll. Uh, Zial doesn't care what you say. Actually, roll me a charisma check. Oh. I will give you. I will give oh, you. Oh, that's a nice. I mean, I sure would have liked to try to persuade the dragon too, so I wanted to, but okay. It should be stated that Jang is utterly horrified as she is just in the most like dismal shock. Nah, no. Well, at ten. Zial is uh. Is striking you guys down uh, from the tree, or he's going to attempt to. And that is a 17 to hit you. Follow. Uh, yes. And, uh, I'm just going to do the round. You, you're taking 22 points of damage, and I'm. Yeah, and. So you, I guess you die, and then, Jang, you're pretty much falling to your death. Yeah. And as uh, Jang falls, uh, you guys are sitting in the waiting room, and you just see Jang kind of like sit or appear like in a bench uh, beside you. And that, Shivering. That yeah, that goblin's just sitting there doing paperwork. <laughs> and I'm gonna let I'm gonna take another break for or I'm gonna give you guys another break, and we're gonna <sighs> probably go for like 30 more minutes after this. Real quick, Baloney just like wiggles his fingers in a greeting towards the goblin. <laughs> uh, she, she looks up. I want you to roll charisma check for me. We're on break though, so anybody that doesn't want to be here, like, go ahead. We're gonna start at eleven thirty Eastern again. You may want to subtract seven from that number, Gavelt. No, subtract eight from that number. Everybody died, or is me? Uh, total party kill besides Don. Thirteen. Thirteen? Oh, yeah. He was, okay. He was doing it more sarcastically, like, because he annoyed her before you know, on purpose. I forgot her name. Did I call her Dolores or Doris? Or Deborah? <laughs> no, it's something go with, with a D. Just go with Dolores. <laughs> Dolores right. sounds good. Dolores. How much? Subtract how much oh, now? Such a cute young boy. Four, she it's back. Four, to, four to six. We have four to six lives now. Mm -hmm. He makes a grossed out face. He goes back to doing paperwork. Gavel just sits with the most shocked of shocks and kind of in like actually terrified kind of look. Twitching his eyes slightly. How? Me meanwhile <laughs> look at pan pans the air. Whoa, what happened to look the number? <laughs> no, no, Gavel just looks at air. The girl just looks looks at the entire party. How? <laughs> oh well, we're on we're on break right now, but okay, okay, that's gonna be a thing to roll for you later on because that's all you have to say is how. <laughs> and 
I want to apologize to you guys. Like, since we're 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 out of character right now, and I'm like not in DM mode. I'm cool. Like, I talked. Like, I I don't even know. Like, I guess I like talked myself over this. Um, and I thought this was the best way to hint at like, okay, like you guys can do whatever you want, but if you do certain things. Especially like yeah. faced with certain enemies, the, uh, there will be consequences for actions. I mean, two K, you should have to got a death talk like that. <laughs> Not you, Boomy. Uh, okay, I'm just I in... think maybe you should give like a reminder of what was done because I'm pretty sure I know what this was about now. After um, seeing I know what happened. About you. That's, Everybody still hears that's he all was mad. The skeleton was damaged back in the village. <laughs> I did. I did give a fair like thing. I was. Uh, I'd rolled for Zial to notice, and uh, Zial ended up rolling a twenty-five. Awesome. So I guys have high modifiers anyway. So the problem is Lorcan. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, none of the characters know. But you know, yeah, well, it's just <laughs> Lorcan that knows about the bone. <laughs> you know, I, I, for break to be, for the break to be over. Uh, so you got six minutes, but I can give you a little more time if you need it. Slim. No, six minutes. Really? Do. Yeah. I really don't need it. <laughs> okay. I just, uh, just. I'm just, just saying, Tukan. Wow. Both uh, Jang and Mimi have relentless endurance. Endurance, so we should still be alive. You know, I had a sick feeling in my stomach that you know, I bet the rat rolls that give Elton a roll date. Gonna have to deal with the damn dragon. And in my stomach, really, I was like, he should probably stay on the ground. But what that fucking matter? <laughs> uh, you know what? I have a, qu- uh, I have a question. Oh, uh, okay. So, like, I, j- I just rode uh, to see if the dragon would notice. I was going to give you a chance, but I did roll a nat 20, uh, Jane. So, you did experience the pain of falling and the dragon finishing you off. My question is, if you both stayed on the ground, like, wouldn't the plants attack him? It would have been a chance, because you can do that, unless you don't think that far. Uh, no, the... It was safe there. Like there wasn't any like moving plants there. See, that's just me not thinking. The character oh, be smart enough to think. That's just me not thinking. Was the smaller dragon uh, Zial's wife? No. Son. I well, will not answer any more questions about that. Daughter. I I'm glad that Baloney was able to get everyone healed right back up just to die. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can you? Who was the cause of this? Hmm. I wonder who who damaged the dragon skeleton. I blame Baldwin. He was the one who. Character that one to be murdered. <laughs> Good thing nobody noticed. Everyone now has a r- very rational fear of green ancient dragons. <laughs> Jang just is still shivering. Like you. That's the guy who like, was. Jang actually wow. got the worst death out of this because of her relentless endurance now. <laughs> Poor Jang. Hey, at least it's for more... most of us, it didn't even hurt. It was just like... Yeah. Instant death. No, yeah. Man, it's more... death. Wow. So no, in a way, matter. the dragon was merciful about it. No, it wasn't. Merciful? It was I asked. It Everybody got a critic. The fuck you mean it hurt? Everybody suffocated. Everyone died and one burned, away. It, it burned us with acid. How no, does no, that not hurt? It's poison. Poison gas. He poison. said we got tingly, thing? like a limb falls asleep, it gets tingly, so kind of uncomfortable, and then just numb. That isn't like searing pain or anything. Okay, let's put you. Okay, let's put you in a gas chamber. Let's uh, find out. They, you know, let's find out if the Jews said anything about that. Okay, we're not talking uh, about actual realistic gas and the way that actually affects people. We're talking about what the DM said happened. Yeah, okay, it's poison. That's a pretty wow. interesting. Uh, pretty. In- what do they call? What do they call it? That's a pretty interesting. Um, something that numbs people. There's a certain medical term for it. Jews. A neurotoxin. We don't care. It's over. We're oh, dead. Neurotoxin. Move on. Neurotoxin. Yep. <laughs> we're, we're, we're still. We still got three minutes. I think uh, Slim went to do something. Slim, are you and, here? Again, guys, I'm. I'm sorry. Like I do not no. like to kill people. 
No, this you should have done this from the beginning, too, Kenneth. So you ready for an entire it? stream that just got a death? So do we just lose eight lives? Yeah, y'all just lost yeah. eight lives. <laughs> I mean, Did we also fail to- Uh, actually nine, because Strudel Kitty would have died too. Oh yeah, you're right. He was 40? like just- So we're Round down to 45. 40. Yeah, 45. <coughs> 45, So do we also lose the memory? Like, do we have to restart the memory now? Um, uh, Dawn is still in action, so you guys did not fail the memory- Or fail the trial just yet. That being said, it's Dawn. Wait, what? Dawn is there? Uh, no, he's he's still in action, so the trial is not failed. Like, it wasn't a total party wipeout since Dawn's still uh, Wait, not dead. Wait, but if Zeo's just going to fuck with us the entire time, then how the fuck are we going to do anything? Because he said he'll make sure he kills us. Uh, Wait, if it's a memory, if it's a memory, and then we go back to the memory, we didn't actually exist in that time, so he wouldn't even know that we... Well, the, It'd be like so, yeah. he never met us this, in the first place. This trial's set, like, now. Like, everything you guys have done is still in action. Like, you guys have died in that trial. Baldwin is dead. Uh, if you go back so... in there, that dragon may not even notice. Because but yeah, I mean, it, it, killed, it killed us. It's, yeah. like, it's but satisfied it, now. It killed but us. It was still, but it will still remember, right? Yeah, it, it, oh yeah, if it sees one of you, it's, it's gonna kill and you. And the difficult... And the difficulty does not change, right? Uh, no. Well, it did change when you guys uh, fucked with the dragon bone and uh, the dragon noticed. So now it's considerably harder than what it was. Mm -hmm. But well, now that question, how now that it's satisfied, does it go back to normal? Uh, the dragon's still act. Z all still active. Um, and you guys will have to see when you go back in there. So, when we get back, so when we, so, okay, we'll figure it out, but I get the feeling we'll be getting, when we get back to him. Baldwin is dead, what are we going to do for the rest of the trial? Because isn't the point of this is to help him and get his reward? I don't know, you guys will have to do that. I can't metagame too hard for you. Awesome. But trust awesome. me, like, I'll, you know, I'll help, like, steer you guys in the right direction. You should have. Something... I mean, it's a character from my I character. I mean, we well, know that. Yeah, we have the map. We'll just wait. Wait, are we not dead? Oh, you're five up. Yeah, uh, no, we're dead. Yeah, we're we're about to start. You guys are sitting in the waiting waiting room. The whole party's there, besides Dawn. So again, Gavelt asked, "How?" Uh, Mr. Zervin, will you please keep your voice down? I don't mind you talking, but please don't yell. <laughs> See, Gavelt. Don't talk. <laughs> it's like just like point his finger at her. And you see like the magic swarm. Do not talk. How? What's <laughs> everybody else? How? What was that fucking dragon's problem? Piece of shit. We'll find out when we see um the god of death. We can just ask him what happened. No, yeah. I know the problem. No, I know the problem. Who had a femur of a dragon body? How did it get a Baldwin? How did Baldwin end up with a dragon bone in his pocket? Probably took it from that fucking body. What body? That's not very in character. That's not very like him to steal. He's one of the most cautious men. He was one of the most cautious people with us. You have to convince me that that's actually true. Uh, Hideki looks over to the secretary. Is there a file on how or why we died? Uh, I, I'm not sure about that. You could ask, uh, Mr. Eventide when you get in there. Uh, Hideki, you're in your human form again, just so you know. How long? <laughs> See, give out how long, looking at her. Um, we usually don't have this many people at once. So, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, you guys could go on past if you want. I'll handle the paperwork later. I think everybody's here but Mr. Dawn, correct? Loney kind of raises his hand. Yeah, I've already been through this. I don't mind sitting out if that would help uh, you, make this go faster. You, you gotta go, honey. I'm sorry. I'm gonna walk towards the door. Um, um, can I, uh, can I take a nap? Uh, I do 
not recommend taking a nap, but you, you can go on through that door, please. Gavel opens the door and just walks in and leaves it open. Okay. Gavel's through the door. Anybody following him? Or... I guess I'll follow him. I'll follow. Baloney grudgingly follows. Okay. And, um, I fall. Mr. Bitches? I mean, Jane. <laughs> no. It's not, that, it's not that funny. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm so used to reading your all's name in Discord. And I was like, Mr. Bitch, Jane? Yeah. Yeah, you following? Uh, someone's going to have to snap me out of it. Oh, yeah. Okay. I guess uh, single nuggets still sitting there. I, you look over and uh, Jang's shaking. Um, Here, Gabelle's voice at this. It's, Let's go. <laughs> Next stop, the gondola ride of insanity. <laughs> Gabelle's not happy about this. You see here, Dickie, shushing him. Shh, you're annoying. Shut up. That makes uh, no Jang sense. Jang says no, you. <laughs> God, Jang isn't even there where Hideki and them are. It makes no sense. I, it doesn't matter how corrupted a dragon may be. What? Can I? Can, can, can Mimi? Can Mimi help Jang up and like take the rear and yeah. go through the door? Yeah, uh, Jang. Uh, Mimi's like patting you on the back. I guess I'm just gonna go, go over. Uh, Sam, are you there? Yeah. Uh, are you following in with them? Yeah, I kind of just wait for the person at the desk and leave. Okay. Uh, yeah, she waves back. Uh, please shut the door on your way in, please. See, see the match. See the uh, the chill touch arm just come to shut the door. The scary skull looking door just slam it shut. <laughs> uh, she just like. The camera, I just imagine like going back to her and she's just like rude and <laughs> starts doing paperwork again. Um, as you guys are walking, you see that uh, same green lantern that you've seen uh, light um, up as w the same as when Gavel, Hideki, and uh, Baloney had died before. And uh, the greeting you is a figure, a very slink figure in a dark uh, robe. And he kind of raises his arm out, and you just see a skeleton hand, and he scratches the top of his head. Because there's a bunch of you, and there's only three seats on this uh, gondola. Got another one. <laughs> oh, you sit right. down in the you got You guys, I you guys go, go away. I'll, I'll, I'll take, take a nap. Gavel, Gavel just asked, you have another one? Looking at the dude. Um, he holds up one finger to you. And um, he snaps, and the green lantern, or the lantern that was glowing green, now changes to an orange color. And uh, Lorcrin, you start feeling the water move. He uh, motions you to get off of the gondola and get back on the dock, leading oh, to the shit, water. I, I get off. Okay, and uh, out comes a huge ship. And he gestures to the ladder, which is across from the gondola now, but the gondola is all wet from uh, being shaken up. And he gestures to the ladder, uh, leading uh, to the top of the ship. Mm. Looks bad. Looks at the future. Gods do have a sense of gods do have a sense of style and a sense of charm, don't they? I guess they always know what I guess they always know what the elves like. Just climbs the ladder. Lorcan right. follows. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say just everybody starts climbing up the ladder. And uh, as you guys get up there, uh, you see a guy standing at the very uh, front of the ship with uh, his back facing you guys, his arms crossed, and he has a peg leg for his left leg, and then he's his right leg is standing down, and he's wearing, like, full-on captain uniform. Uh, Hideki approaches to see if he can get a better look of the person. Uh, yeah, he's just standing still. He's just looking out, uh, up front. And, uh, 
Yeah, he he looks kind of like a buffer, <laughs> buffer, uh, like more pirate s Don than Don is. Don's kind of like a scrawny, you know, like baby face dude, and this dude's like full on like pirate. And he doesn't even like pay attention to you. He's just looking forward. Hideki, you're kind of like right next to him, just like looking at him. The boat moving? Uh, no, the boat's not moving. Anyway, can um, can can Mimi go in front of him and do like the the Titanic scene, like the arms open? Uh, yes. To, to see if, if, if he can get, like, any reaction from the guy. Uh, okay, as, well, Mimi does Mimi, exactly that. Yeah, as Mimi gets up there. Y'all, yeah. y'all ever been on a boat before? Somebody raise anchor. We're moving forward. And he crosses his arms again. And kind of, like, steps in front of Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I guess Mimi will go raise the anchor next. Okay, yeah, you go to the top and uh, start raising it in. He, you could use some help, but roll an athletics check for me. Uh, twenty-two. Oh yeah, you're pushing it pretty good. Does anyone want to help uh, Mimi Dank? There's four spots on there. Can Hideki go and sit next to Mimi Dank and just stare at him? Uh, yeah. Anyway, now, you see Gavelt. Does he have a spell book with him? Uh, yeah, you have your spell book. He just flips a couple pages. You see his eyes glow this yellow color, and then, like, this energy, this yellow energy go to his hand. See him just, just flick it over to Mimi. And you just see Mimi just feel like a something went into his stomach. By the way, he's still a plant, or is he like normal? Now? He's he's still a plant. Okay. What spell did you use? Anyway, now you see him start getting bigger. And he just enlarged him. Okay. That is cool. so just, how big does it the spell? How? <laughs> explain to me how the size, like the size difference, Mimi gets. Mm-hmm. So, because Mimi should, like, have some more strength being that huge. Let's see. Uh, enlarge and reduce. <clears throat> uh, it's a uh, transmutation spell. So, <clears throat> target size doubles in all dimensions, and its weight is multiplied by eight. The growth increases size by one category, medium to large, for example. Okay, How big is he? <laughs> so he's, he's now large, but you guys are looking at, like, an eight-foot dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not like big, oh, big, but he's just like really tall, vine. Mean Pretty thing, interesting. You know? Pretty interesting size demi giant. <laughs> anyway, is he pulling it easier now? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the pirate looking dude turns around. What are you doing? He picks you up, Hideki, by your shirt, and puts you on the other uh thing beside. Him. Now get pushing, please. And uh, mm, I just said that. please to be nice. That's actually an order. And I see Gabel just pull another yellow piece of energy. We need to get moving. See him flick one to Jane. <laughs> and this Jane gets bigger and stuff. Do I roll? He starts pulling. Do I roll athletics? Yeah, uh, yeah, rolling athletics. Uh, he's actually walking toward you, Gabel. Enough of that magic sling and get over here. He's motioning you toward the anchor. He just closes the book. All right, 15. Right. Awesome. A uh, rolling athletics for me, uh, Gavelt. <laughs> and Jang's just sitting big over there. Jang, do you want to help him? Four. <laughs> no. <laughs> Gavelt comes, comes here and looks pretty. Oh, my God. I got a lot of work to do. Hey, no one's allowed to look pretty but me. Me, me. No. You, you see, you, you just see uh, Gavelt just like, Pull it, just pull a little bit. No. <laughs> and, uh, no yeah, mind. after it took a little longer than uh, he wanted, but it, it's up, and y'all start moving. 
Oh, nice to have ye aboard. My name is David Jones. You could introduce yourselves to me. I don't know you. Uh, I'm Lorcan. Nice to meet you, sir, Lorcan. Nice to meet you too, man. Oh, I'm... You guys are a lively bunch. Yeah, yes. And he kind of like... He kind of like kneels down on one knee looking at you. I'm, uh, single, I'm nugget. single nugget. I'm sort of new at the dying and ending up on a boat thing. Oh, well, don't what? worry. I'm way nicer than the old uh, Grim back here. He about leans over. Are you okay? Looking over at a... Jang over there. How, how's she looking? Still awful. Where's Baldwin? You sh looking at her closely? Does she like? Does she like she about to cry or something? Are you sure? Well, don't mind me. That was a terrible uh, question. We're all dead and on the way to hell. I know Baldwin. Uh, if he died in the trial, that that man's good as gone. Uh, Jane gets worse. That's unfortunate. Baldwin passed. You see, good vote. It's ba Baldwin. Baldwin is completely gone. At least, if unless you guys fail the trial and start over, but it seems like you got one member still alive. Uh, Hideki looks at him and asks again, "Who exactly are you, and why are we with you and not Evertide?" Uh, who am I? I am Davy Jones. I am Solar, to Eventide. Who might you? An be? angel. I am Hideki. Did you say Solar? Or, I am a Solar. Yes. Former warlock of Evertide. Former warlock of... Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. You, you see Gavo. Repeat that. Did you say you were a solar? Uh, yes. Who are you? <laughs> I'm not worthy to speak. <laughs> you can, says that. You can call I'm not me worthy to speak. Davey, or Mr. Jones for short. If you don't want to say the full name, but still be respectful, I am captain of the ship. He, he kind of leans over towards you, Gavelt, and says that. See, Gavelt just like just, just get into a proper. Agreed. Most likely you are. Please do not incinerate me. Oh, I'm not going to incinerate you. All right. Your this is not your actual form, correct? Oh no, this is me. Wow. I've read in store. I've written stories that solars look much different. It differs between gods. So even tides are ready to the point where he has solars serving him. <laughs> oh, every god's got solars. There's only twenty four of them, though. That's the set amount of solars allowed to be in existence. Well. So, you are all aware of the external, the unusual circumstances. By unusual, I mean different things appearing where they shouldn't. Are you talking to uh, Davy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My, uh... Don't worry, we're looking into that. It seems to be uh, something going on that I'm uh, saying. I I'm speaking for all of the Solar and uh, so Mr. There's Eventide. So only there's only twenty four of you. Yes, uh, Mr. Eventide has three. I got a question for you. Why did the dragon attack us? Let me look. He he, uh, kind of like, uh, you hear him like walking. Down the ship. He's walking to the captain's quarters. You know, just standing leg. there. You know, standing there and blinking. Uh, Word he, he comes out, little knock, 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 and he flips open the little book. Uh, so you want to know why the dragon killed you? That would be... Yes. You've seen them both at the same time. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't really...
really keep track of it. It's not my strong suit, to be honest. Uh, oh, come on. You're the right hand. You're the right hand. Never mind. Hey, Grim. Uh, you see the skeleton figure following on uh, the gondola behind you, and he throws another little book over to Davy, and Davy opens it. Okay, it looks like Zial was pissed. Uh, you guys damaged the dragon skeleton in the village. Ooh. It looks like uh, Mr. Lorcran over there grabbed a bone from him. Oh, that's so bullshit. Nobody should even know that. Sigvald just slowly turn him. Uh, the God of Death can kind of see it, everything. What? How close is Jeng to Lorcran? I don't know. How close would you be sitting to Lorcran once you got on? I kind of just went with the motions. Hey, but don't worry, guys. It's okay. We all make mistakes. I'm sure even Tidal will have some stuff. If I fire the magic missile towards Lorca. <laughs> uh, as soon as you do that, Davy walks in front of the magic missile. Go ahead and roll damage. That will not do shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, 1d4. God, now I gotta look up fucking soul the stats. Can I Davey. try and... You're looking up a, a challenge rating of a 20. Can I, can I try and shoot Angel, there's no point. <laughs> Can I try One. to shoot his magic missile with my No, hand? they they'd be going too fast for you to They have advantage on that shit too. I like One. Could could I roll with like Oh okay so quadruple disadvantage? <laughs> you, do, you do uh three damage to Davy. Uh the missiles three. kinda like hit his chest and start like smoking. Now, if there's one thing I don't tolerate on my ship, it's friendly fire. And he stares you down. I want you to make me a wisdom saving throw, Gavelt. That is not going to work. Let's see. Roll 1d20 plus 6 plus 4. You roll for him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you are intimidated by David. Uh Hey, what? Uh, you are intimidated by Davy. Of course he is. So you see Gavel actually look. Just back up. Okay. And then you see he, see him turn around. He walks towards you, Lorcran. Uh... Now, in hindsight, I don't know exactly what happened, but I'm hoping you had a good reason to do that. Uh, I try to take the bone as a uh, precautionary uh, in case the dragon was going to do some evil shit. But when I went to grab it, 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 it crumbled. And I had to get rid of that evidence. So the only person I could think of sashing on that wasn't the party was Baldwin. Oh, God. Okay, well... Don't worry, guys. <laughs> we ain't going to get any of those weird memories or anything flying around like... Like Grim does, I I ain't I ain't about all that mess. He just kind of like tries to scare people. Kind of, each one of us take a little bit of a different part, or a little bit after a different part of uh, Mister Eventide. And what part do you take after? I like to think I'm the gentle side. He kind of like <laughs> grins, and you see his teeth are all like rotted out. <laughs> Everything. I'm trying to stole her. You see Gavel just, like, in the corner. Sure. Sure you do. Sure. I appreciate that. And he, like, stands... He goes back to the front of the ship and stands, like, a little bit in front of Mimi. And he bends down. I'm the captain, just so you know. And then looks back up. Hey, you are agreed. You're one of the right hands of God. You should be captain. Uh, yes. Since yes. we all... Probably going crazy and all that. I am going to offer people some wine with the statue, including the captain. What is that? He like turns around and sees you start pulling pouring wine out of this baboon's mouth. Where did you get that thing? Cool. 
Apparently, someone's trash can. <laughs> he just that. looks <laughs> so confused at single. But Are let me actually, sure? he's going to roll an insight. Oh, Nat 20. Sure okay. He knows you're not lying because that's what Strudel Kitty told you. And he just looks so confused right now, single nugget. But he, <laughs> he knows you're, you're not lying. Say, Are you sure you're a sober? Never mind. Forget I asked. You, you, you doubting me? No, absolutely not. Yes. Not at all. As a matter of fact, put this book down. I'm going to place. Look, I, and I'm going to, I've just I'm going never to seen a baboon start pouring out alcohol. This is great. There's a lot of unique things. Perhaps uh, some time out of the domain um, would be. Obvious. I guess everybody gets a glass of wine if you want to drink. Does everybody want to drink a glass of wine? Oh, yeah. Baloney discreetly just kind of sets his wine to the side and starts playing his bagpipes. I take the glass uh, of wine, but don't drink it. Travel yet. music. Roll a performance for me, <laughs> Baloney. That one, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Nah. Mickey is not having it. I now. want you to roll me 2d6. By the way, Jang just pounds the glass. And if he throws it overboard, like behind his back. Nine. What Everybody's taking nine points of psychic damage as you guys just hear <laughs> echo in this area. The worst sound you've ever heard in your life. But we're dead. What? <laughs> you just hear, or you just see Davy. This is just for fun. Uh, you, you just see Davy's hair just stick up to the point his, his hat goes flying off. Am I drunk? I've been, hit, I've oh. been hit by it. Oh I God, what oh, was that? Bell's Stop! Cup. He like looks. Doesn't think like... Bell's glass just broke because of how bad it was. <laughs> like he had, he was about to drink it, but the glass broke. Because of how terrible. Oh, the... Davey just says, "I've been hit by attacks that hurt less than that." God, and he turns to you, Gavel. I'd learn a little bit from that one if you want to cause damage. Oh, he starts Ooh. shaking his head, and his hair goes back down. And you just see uh, Grim like throw the hat back to, to Davy. He's following behind. How long is this boat right? How long is this right? Uh, it'll be a little bit. My my ship kind of moves a little slower than uh, the gondola, and we don't have the little theatrics. Uh, uh, you know, the same as Slinky over there. So uh, another uh, interesting question: Do you all look alike? Not gonna asking if all the solars look up to you. All look alike. Oh no, we we all look different. I think I'm probably the most handsome. Really? Mm -hmm. You said he took <laughs> after his nice side, more like his childish side. Childish. <laughs> childish. <laughs> Gabel's just rubbing his head through his hair and. He's like this is long hair. So. Uh, Davey's like stroking his beard braids, and he's. <laughs> you don't look stressed, like crabby stressed, like. Yeah. Childish. <laughs> Explain to me, uh, Mister Former Warlock of uh, Eventide. He's lesser. He's lesser than a planetar. He means nothing to you. He means great. Just great. Great. You have the, you take the best. You all look like. <laughs> you take the best side of Master Eventide. Yes, just great, great. Um, okay, uh, single nugget put in chat that he's slowly drinking the wine. I want you to make a Constitution, uh, <laughs> roll for me, single nugget. And I guess anybody else that's drinking, go mm -hmm. ahead. Uh, I know. Uh, I know. Jang yeah. said she was down in some wine. And he did, I already he said right. Baloney yeah. set his aside. Oh yeah, Jane, you're good. You're just so shooken up by the dragon, you don't even realize like Davy's like <laughs> walking around uh, uh, talking to people. Like puts the glass down, and I do not drink in the presence of God's servants. <laughs> <laughs> it says that. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. He and then uh, Davy takes a drink. You drank in front of me, and I was a God servant. 
He looks like the right. Yeah, follow. Uh, Davey, kind of like you hear his little knocking I, I have to... as he's walking over to you, Hideki. I think he's talking about the pecking order here. And then he walks over. Everybody knows I'm the captain. <laughs> you not? Do you see you give out a look at Hideki? How much do you study? <laughs> Just looking at him. <laughs> 13. Uh, single Nugget, you're a little drunk. Not too much, but I guess you're like buzzed right now from the wine. If you want to drink you... some more, I'm going to say you have to roll roll again. And uh, Mimi yeah, Dank, you're good. I'm literally just going to be... Did the captain hear? Nothing. I'm, I'm not going to talk to anyone. I'm not going to try anything. I'm just mm. going to hold on. So, um, you all keep a network around here? I guess you know um, Akuja as well, and anyone else in any... any... Oh, Maybe yeah, I know Akuja. Hmm. I don't and like her too know... much, but that's just because <laughs> even Todd doesn't like her too much, and then Grim really don't like her. <laughs> she kind of, like, does the skeleton thing, and he doesn't like seeing other skeletons, you know, serve her. Uh, you, you right guys, it, if me. anybody looks over the grim, he kind of just like gives a thumbs up in the background with a <laughs> skeleton hand. He well does. So you know him as well. Point to Hideki. Uh, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Uh, I'm not used to seeing him like that though. But I guess that's the I form know. his soul uh, takes. Yeah, I find that amusing. Pretty nice haircut. It back at the solar. All right, we should be uh, coming up here soon on an uh, even tied ship. Um, the ride, the ride's pretty quiet. I guess we're we're not all hearing the screams of our former of our former lives. Oh no, no, I I don't I don't do that's Grimm's thing. I don't do that. Oh, so the Reapers prefer torture. Nice. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he kind of like leans in to whisper to you guys. He's kind of a mean one. And you just see a scythe come and land right beside Davy. You see what I mean? And Davy like picks it up <laughs> and like kind of like walks back toward the front of the ship. And um, we are chipmunks. As he does, you just see like a light. We're chipmunks and a cage of divine. A light <laughs> expand from the beginning, and you guys are now in a bright. Uh, sun, you know, sunlit sky. The sky's blue, uh, not cloudy. The water's just perfect, perfectly fine. The only eyesore on this is actually Davy's ship, but uh, Davy like leans over to you guys. Now, don't make even Ty jealous. Don't sh don't tell him how like my ship may be a little better than his. And he kind of like taps over. Wait, did? Did uh, the captain hear me say that he wasn't the captain earlier or no? Oh, did you say that? Yeah, that was way earlier though. Oh, well, I'll just I'll just play it off as like he's talking to somebody else. Yeah, yeah okay. And um as you guys get closer, you see a or you get closer to Eventide ship, you guys have seen it before. It looks really grand. Uh not seeing it from the bottom climbing up. And uh, this ship starts to sink into the water until you see the, or you guys are floating still, but you're about waist deep in water. Uh, single nugget, we're over your head. You're kind of swimming or floating. And uh, Davey gestures you guys to the ladder to lead up to Eventide ship. Can I ask a question? It was nice meeting you lot and good drinking with you. Hopefully, for your sakes, it's the last time. I don't much like escorting, but it you know it it ain't too bad every once in a while. Uh, do you guys climb on the ship? Yep. Lorcan does. Right. Jang does. Right, yeah, yeah. Come on. Almost one yeah, is with their fascination and oceans and ships. <laughs> <laughs> I try to. Oh, uh, as as you say that, Gavelt, uh, don't you know what even tide means? 
the name has meaning. Oh yeah. It's kind of, I yeah. think it's uh dusk or uh, sunset and then he uh you you're reminded by the vision in the memory that you saw of uh the uh sun kind of kissing the ocean as the sun was setting. He no. he has a th he has a thing for thanks just just, just you just hang on the ladder scenery. thinking for a moment. Hmm. Oh. That's and chat. And uh, hopefully we meet. Hopefully we meet you and not looking at look at the reaper. Him. And uh, he like raises yeah, no. his arms up. He's still like floating behind you guys. Like he <laughs> he like kind of does the like why not emote like huh what. Before getting on the ladder to climb up, Baloney just looks at him and says, "If we see you again, I'll play for you again." Uh, Davy doesn't want to be mean, but you can tell he like he's like false smiling at you, <laughs> like that'd be great. <laughs> Not moving his teeth, just smiling <laughs> with the uh, you see his, like rotted teeth just smiling at you and he's not moving on. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, little guy. I'll see you later. Alright, Harvey gets to where, gets to the door and at least got it down. Yeah, you guys get on the get ship. Uh, that same door opens up to the captain's quarters and that is where I will end the session tonight. Uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, thank you YouTube cats for stopping by. I will see you next week. And as far as announcements go, um, I should have done this at the beginning, but me, or uh, Schlubs, Craig, and I will be starting a Pokemon Crystal Random Nuzlocke next week, and it'll be before the D&D session, probably 5 p.m. to like 6.30 Eastern. I'm going to take a break, then we're going to get ready for D&D. &D. And hopefully, I'm thinking about starting some... Uh, maybe manga discussions and stuff here since that got the same amount of votes in the end. So we'll see about that. And then June 12th, my boy Loyal Wolf is going to be our uh, DM for the night because I'm going to be busy. I might be able to stop by and play though. And I'm looking forward to that because I, the one time I did play with him, it was pretty fun. Minus uh, a couple, or uh, not a couple, a character. <laughs> Well, that that was that's what made the session. No, go. no, that's what made no. a pain in my ass. That's what. <laughs> so the entire part arcade is the session. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for playing with me, and uh, thank you guys for stopping by. I, I really do have fun, so I hope you guys are having a fun time, even though I kind of just like killed the whole party. <laughs> I agree with your decision. I'm not taking full fault, though. Shifty eyes at Bloomy. Uh, it's not my fault. Nigga, nigga, did you just improvise an art? Come on, man. Come on.